We are just three and a half minutes away from kick between the number 10 ranked West Alabama Tigers and the Miles College Golden Bears. The captains are approaching midfield as they get ready for the coin toss, and the Miles College Golden Bears are coming down the hill from the visiting locker room preparing to enter Tiger Stadium. And, Will, you know, one of the things that's going to be important to watch early on is how do the teams, how did they adjust to this delay in kickoff? You know, we mentioned it. That there's two types of deals that you got to, to worry about, the physical um, acclimation to, you know, making that adjustment and then the mental preparation. The good news is the majority of the, the warm-up had not been – completed yet so they almost got to start that start to finish it's just going to be a matter of whether they are not um, able to just keep their mind relaxed enough and then get it ramped back up as we approach the kickoff here just two and a half minutes away miles college has entered the field as west alabama now congregates at the corner of the end zone closest to their locker rooms and that loud burst of sound that you heard was the Miles College Golden Bear Band that they have brought. We mentioned it. They've got, it's got to be over 100 members of the band, and it took them five minutes to get into the stadium. I got, I got confirmation. A good friend of mine, uh, Coach Patrick Pizan, he's their softball coach, he confirmed they have 250 band members uh, that made the trip tonight. So uh, they can definitely get after it, and uh, I know that they uh, will be rooting on their team. But West Alabama takes the field followed by the cheerleaders. And so that will be something that not only we will have to deal with during the game, the Miles College band, but also the players. And that is something that if the officials allow Miles College to play when the ball is set for play, it's, it's almost impossible to hear. And so that's something that we'll have to watch. How much leniency do the officials give to the Miles College band? You know, if it's anything like last week, they were right on top of it to, to be able to shut that down. So, you know, we'll figure that out pretty quick. But uh, they're 250 strong as, as our band uh, makes their way off the field. The officials are getting the captains ready for the coin toss. And West Alabama won the toss but has deferred to the second half. So Miles College will receive the WTOK TV opening kickoff. West Alabama will be kicking with their back to the field house. Miles College will be playing with their back towards the old National Guard armory. And so we'll finally, after over an hour and 20 minute delay, we are finally ready for some football. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a long time coming, but uh, I think we got a great matchup ahead of us as West Alabama hosts the Golden Bears of Miles College here. We're kicking off in just about 30 seconds. Robert, and uh, it should be a good one. West Alabama will be kicking off. As we mentioned, they are in all red tonight. Red helmets, red jerseys, and red pants. Miles College is wearing purple helmets, white jerseys, and white pants. The West Alabama kickoff team, led by Jordan Bennett, trots out onto the field. Good crowd here for West Alabama. The lower section is completely full. The folks from the Tiger Room making their way up into the reserve seats uh, for this Thursday night game, the second Thursday night game in just as many weeks, Robert. And uh, fortunately, we're going to get to see ourselves in front of the Tiger fans at home for three consecutive weeks. Uh, and week number two is just, under, just about to get underway. Jordan Bennett has the ball teed up at the 35. He trots back. 11 and a half yards. He looks to his right. And now he looks to the left. Surveys the Miles return team. Still waiting on the official to give him the go ahead. So after an hour and 25 minute weather delay, we are finally ready. Bennett approaches the ball and we have the WTOK TV opening kickoff. It will bounce at the four. It will be fielded at the one. 
Miles takes it to the five, trying to get outside. He gets to the seven, to the eight, maybe gets out to the 10 where he'll be stopped there. So a great job by the West Alabama coverage unit on the play. Danny Rambo is the, makes the initial hit as they push him out of bounds after just a short gain. So Miles College will take their first opening drive. It'll be first down and 10 from their own 10 yard line. Leonard Tyree on the return. So Miles comes out. Starting at quarterback, four miles will be number one, Daniel Smith, the 6'1 junior from Peoria, Arizona. Shotgun formation, one receiver split either way. Tight end motions across the field to the left. It will be a handoff to the left. He tries to cut it back, and he will be immediately hit at the nine-yard line. Number 42, Jordan Jones was initially in on the stop. Also in on the stop, number 54, Andreas Lilly, the sophomore at Montevallo, Alabama, there on the stop. Short gain for Miles College. It's going to bring up second down and nine from their own, we'll call it, 11-yard line. Smith in shotgun again. Empty backfield, two receivers to his left, three to the right. Smith takes the snap. The left-hander throws over the middle, and it will be incomplete. Trying to find his receiver on a quick slant route at around the 15, but excellent coverage on the play by West Alabama. Number 25, Abraham Wallace, the defensive back, breaking up that pass. It's going to bring up third down and 11 here for the Golden Bears in this initial drive uh, here on this Thursday night. 14-12 remaining, first quarter. Empty backfield once again, three receivers to the left, two to the right. Smith drops back, forced out of the pocket, moves to his left, throws deep. The pass is tipped up in the air, batted around, but eventually falls to the turf around midfield, and so Miles will go three and out on their first possession. Abraham Wallace, we're going to call his name out again, had an opportunity to get that ball uh, picked off there, but he knocks it down to the turf. It's going to bring up fourth down and 11. The uh, quarterback just got a lot of pressure right there. They forced him out to his left, and he was able to get it off, but just wasn't able to hook up with his intended receiver. Sid Thurman back to receive the punt. He's on the left hash mark with his toes at the miles 45-yard line, so should be good field position for West Alabama. Little pressure. There's the punt. It is off to the right. And it hits at the 45 of Miles, bounces forward to around the 48. There was a scrum for the ball. Miles was saying that it touched a West Alabama player, and now the officials are going to discuss it and see could be a huge break for Miles right off the bat. Have to wait to see what the officials decide. Robert, it came dangerously close to hitting number 21, Danny Rambo, and the officials confer. It got him on the heel, and Miles College is going to take over after the miscue. It's going to be first down and 10 from their own 46-yard line. So instead of West Alabama having great field position to start with and having the ball in Miles College territory, an early mistake by the Tiger special teams unit will give the ball right back two miles. They will scrimmage from their own 47-yard line. It'll be first and 10 Golden Bears, 13-48 remaining first quarter, no score. Miles College went three and out and punted to West Alabama. West Alabama had the ball touch one of the return men, and so it's first and 10 miles, quick snap. Throw out to the right is complete. It will get into West Alabama territory and be a gain for nine yards again. Smith finds Leonard Tyree on the quick pass, and that's probably something we're going to see. Miles is going to have to get rid of the ball quick. Tyree holds it in, but Chase Mitchell and Terry Samuel, quick quick hit, get him out of bounds. It's going to be second down and one as the Golden Bears cross midfield. Second and one, empty backfield. They now motion a receiver across the formation, hand off to him. He will get enough for the first down and will get down near the West Alabama 40, but it will be enough for a Golden Bear first down. In on the stop for West Alabama is going to be number 10, Darius Ellis. 
quick uh, quick hit right there, but the Golden Bears pick up the first down as they deploy five wide receivers from the shotgun formation. Again, Smith with an empty backfield, two receivers to his left, three to the right. The left-hander fakes, now moves to his left, finds an open receiver at the Tiger 35. He breaks free and is able to get down across the 30-yard line, so it will be another Golden Bear first down as they are inside the West Alabama 30-yard line. Nice move at about the 35-yard line to avoid the initial tackler, but Darius Ellis brings him down with the left-hander, the southpaw for the Golden Bears, quick to the line. Smith in shotgun, empty backfield once again, looking to throw, looking to his right, going deep for Tyree, has him in the end zone. He makes a great catch with the aid of a shove-off with his left hand. Should have been a penalty, but you got to give Tyree credit. He created that separation, really juggled the ball with that right hand, and then was able to pull it in for an early Miles College touchdown. So it's 6 nothing Miles with the extra point awaiting 12-26 remaining first quarter. Golden Bears set to attempt the PAT as the kicker lines it up. The holder's in place. Waiting for the snap count. The snap is good, the hold is good, the kick, it's up, and it's going to be good, and the Golden Bears are going to tack on one extra to make it 7 nothing here in the early goings. Going back to that play, the receiver, he's one-on-one -on -one with Danny Rambo, and they're kind of stride for stride. The receiver pushes off with his left hand, reaches out with the right, one-handed cap, and taking nothing away from the play aside from the fact that it was just some illegal pushing right there, but the, uh, the Miles College Golden Bears take advantage of a miscue on special teams and turn it into seven points. Yeah, their first score of the entire season. They were blank last week against Alabama A&M. You never want to give anybody something early, but you sure don't want to give a team that would, has to have some doubts about how they're performing any type of early confidence, and that's exactly what West Alabama has done. Miles aided by the muffed punt. Can't even say that. It, it hit one of the West Alabama uh, return men in the back of the leg, and Miles was right there to jump on it and get great field position at their own 47-yard line. So that drive covered 53 yards when they cashed in on the long touchdown pass to Tyree in the right corner of the end zone. So now West Alabama will get the ball for the first time, and Harry Satterwhite and the offense will look to try and answer the early Golden Bear score. On that extra point, four miles, Bradley Hamill knocked it through, and he will also be doing the kickoff duties. Ball will be teed up at the 35. Hamill, who's listed at 5'9", and I believe that's probably pretty generous to Mr. Hamill. We'll look to his left and to his right, and he will kick it deep. It will be fielded at the 6 to the 15, the 20, across the 25, a 30, breaks out to the left side, 35, 40. 45, 50, gets a couple of blocks. He's to the 30. He's to the 20. Cuts back to the right, and he's going to take it all the way in. Christian Salisbury with the touchdown return. There is a flag down on the Miles side of the field towards their sideline. It's sitting at the Miles 39-yard line. They have to check and wait, but if this stands... It will be a kickoff return for a touchdown for Christian Salisbury, the junior wide receiver from Itawamba Community College. The call will be offsides against Miles. That will obviously be declined, and the Tigers are right back in this. 7-6, 12-07 remaining first quarter. Extra point from Jordan Bennett awaiting. 96-yard, excuse me, 94-yard return unofficially as West Alabama looks to capitalize on the touchdown by knocking in the PAT. The snap's good. The hold's down. The kick, it's up and through the uprights. No, no. They say no. They missed it wide. Looks like maybe wide to the right. So West Alabama, after a great 94-yard return, misses the extra point to trail here. The Golden Bears 7-6, to six. but man, Robert, what a return. And you know, you got a question Miles kicking to Christian Salisbury 
Averaged 36.2 yards per kick return last week against Lenore Ryan. And right off the bat, they kick to Salisbury, who takes it all the way in. As you said, a 94-yard kickoff return for touchdown and, and really flipped things around. Miles had to be feeling pretty good, scoring early, getting a couple of breaks. But right there, Christian Salisbury able to answer. And so, again, 12.07 remaining first quarter. Miles leading 7-6. to six. Miles with a long touchdown pass from Daniel Smith to Leonard Tyree for their score. West Alabama answering with the kickoff return for touchdown from Christian Salisbury, but the extra point from Jordan Bennett was no good, so we stand at 7-6 to six with Jordan Bennett getting ready to kick off, and really you hate it for Jordan last week. 0-1 on, on field goals. He was 4-4 four for four on extra points, but you hope that this isn't something that just continues to build with Bennett. Yeah, you know, he just needs to kind of settle in, get into that little bit of a rhythm and know that his – you know, his football team has his back as West Alabama gets ready to kick it off to Miles. Kickoff will go two yards deep in the end zone where it will be kneeled there, so Miles will start for their third offensive possession at the 25-yard line. Let's see what adjustments West Alabama was able to make. Really wasn't a lot of time for adjustments, but hopefully West Alabama was able to iron out a couple of things, especially in the pass defense, because that's where Miles was able to pick up their yards. Yeah, they, uh, they isolated a couple of our defensive backs, uh, you know, were able to get one-on-one -on -one matchups that they like, but I know that Coach Gillen and his staff and defensive coordinator uh, will get things, r the ship righted as Miles College uh, brings them to the line. They got five wide receivers in the shotgun formation. Again, empty backfield, Daniel Smith still in the game. Left-handed quarterback looks to his left, fires complete. Quick pass out. That's going to gain about six yards. So it'll be second and a long four for Miles. Chase Mitchell in on the stop for West Alabama. Chase, the 5'11", 190 junior, a transfer out of Southwest Mississippi Community College. We called his name out a couple of times tonight. Is a six-yard gain for Miles as they come up with second down and four. Second and four for the Golden Bears from their own 31-yard line. Daniel Smith looks. Chased a little bit. Chased now out to his left. He throws back across the middle of the field where the pass is complete. Golden Bears will get across the 50 and down inside the West Alabama 45-yard line. A little quick pass, but then the receiver was able, I believe that was Anthony Robinson, was able to break that one tackle and gain an extra 8, 10 yards. Camarcus Williams was putting good pressure on the quarterback, and Tavares Hutchinson drags him down as Miles comes to the line. Quick pass out to the right, little flanker screen, again looking for Anthony Robinson. The pass will be complete, but it won't gain anything, bringing up second and 10 miles from the West Alabama 43-yard line. And on the stop for West Alabama, John Michael Edwards gets the tackle. It's going to be second down for Miles College. Second and 10, Daniel Smith trying to draw West Alabama off. Had a little movement up front, but UWA able to get back in formation. Now Smith takes the snap, looking to his left, goes over the middle, and it's intercepted by West Alabama. West Alabama with the ball up to the 37, 38, 39-yard line. Great interception by number three, Nico Peterson. Second interception of the year. Nico was kind of waiting back. He read that one the whole way, and as soon as it left the quarterback's hands, he just steps up in front of the would-be receiver, gets the INT, and puts uh, West Alabama in pretty good field position as they're going to start this drive, first down and 10, from their own 38-yard line. West Alabama will start at the 38, and Peterson, you could tell, was just almost playing possum back there. was kind of hidden behind the receiver, and as soon as that ball went in the air, from Smith, Peterson jumped in front of the receiver, able to intercept it and get the ball up to the West Alabama 38. So now for the first time tonight, Harry Satterfield and that West Alabama offense take the field. Satterfield, two receivers either way, running back to his left. Swing pass out to Tevin Moore to the left, up to the 40, out to the 45-yard line. And so a good pickup. They'll actually mark him down at the 44. So a six-yard pickup on first down. Just a little quick swing pass out to the left. And it'll bring up second down and four. Nate Williams, Jr. pushes him out of bounds and brings up that second down and four for West Alabama. Satterwhite looks over the line. 
Two receivers to his right, one to his left. H back in, and there's a handoff to Moore again. He is trying the middle, will only get about a yard and a half, a good push from that left side of the Miles defense. Gang tackle right there by Miles College. He just really couldn't get anything going offensively, trying to move the chains ever so slightly as West Alabama is going to bring up third down in a long two, just shy of the midfield stripe would be the first down marker. Third down and two for West Alabama. West Alabama was only 33% on third downs last week, an area of concern for Coach Gilliland. Here's Satterwhite, who sends Tyreek Martin in motion. Satterwhite looking to throw, pumps, fires. The pass is juggled. And I believe that it is complete across midfield. There is a flag down. It would be enough for a first down for UWA, but this flag is probably going against West Alabama. Have to wait and see. Intended receiver was Quay Boyd as we await the official call. Going to be an illegal formation against West Alabama. That'll be a five-yard penalty. So it takes the first down off the board and will make it third and seven UWA on their own 41-yard line, 9-16 left, first quarter. Miles still holding that 7-6 advantage. Harry Satterwhite deploys three wide receivers to the near side, two to the far side in a shotgun formation. Empty backfield, Satterwhite surveying the defense. Takes the snap, looking to his left. Plenty of time, moving to his left. Now has some room to run. He will, he will get up to the 44-yard line. That will not be enough for a West Alabama first down. And so looking like Miles will hold the Tigers and force a punt. Cardarius Roberts and Jalen Thomas in pursuit of Satterwhite right there and drag him down short of the first down marker as the first quarter is about halfway through here. We got about eight minutes and some change left here as the Tigers trail by one to the Golden Bears from Mile College, seven to six. Zach Gaines in to punt for the Tigers. He will receive the snap at his 29. Two steps, boots it away. A wobbler that will bounce at the 19. It will continue to take a UWA roll inside the 10 and will be marked down at the Miles 8-yard line. So excellent job, that directional punt, able to really back Miles down into a corner. Good solid punt and a great West Alabama roll as it just kind of hovers right around the numbers, rolls for another couple, five, six, seven yards before going out of bounds. And that's going to bring up the Miles College offense here, first down and 10 from their own eight yard line. First and 10, Miles, they'll scrimmage from their eight yard line, 808 left, first quarter. Miles leading seven to six. Smith, the quarterback, will have two receivers to his left, two to the right, a running back behind him in the pistol formation. It will be handoff to the right side. He is hit after only a, about a gain of two and a half yards, and so a good job of West Alabama stringing that play out, using the sideline as another defender. John Michael Edwards pursuing him dragging him down from behind. After a short gain of three, the Golden Bears looking at a second down and seven from their own 11-yard line as they once again put out five wide receivers and nobody in the backfield. Empty backfield. Daniel Smith looks to the Miles sideline for the play. Now he relays it to his wide receivers to his right. Miles College going from left to right on what would be your radio dial if you had a dial any longer. Smith drops back to pass. Terry Samuel on the blitz, forces the pass early, but Smith is able to get it to the receiver, and then it is ultimately knocked down. He's trying to find Malik Campbell on his left, but Terry Samuel really gave him no time. Yeah, great pressure right there, and then breaking up the pass in tandem, Danny Rambo and Skyler Mosley doing their job on the defensive side of things. I, I've gotten a couple text messages. I know that it's a little bit difficult to hear us at times, but believe you, we are we're going to bring it to you the best we can because when the 250-member band gets after it, uh, it gets a little loud here. Third and seven miles from their own 11. Empty backfield, three receivers left, two to the right. Daniel Smith takes the low snap, looking to throw. He's forced to his right. He will scramble 20, 25, out across to about the 28-yard line, and it'll be enough for a Miles College 
first down. That time, great coverage. West Alabama was able to bring pressure, but they lost containment on that left side. Yeah, and then Smith just having the, you know, the athleticism and, and heads up play, sees, a, sees some real estate. He's able to take it, move the chains for the Golden Bears, first down and 10 from their own 28 yard line. First and 10, Daniel Smith, empty backfield, three receivers left, two to the right. Sends a running back in motion, wide receiver in motion, fakes to him, and he will carry it up the middle. He is able to gain about four yards on the carry. Little misdirection, faked the handoff to number 22, Santee Marshall, and then took it up the middle. Got those linebackers moving left to right and then able to take advantage for a little four-yard gain. Yeah, he picks up the gain. Terry Samuels in on the tack for West Alabama, our defensive leader, uh, and an overall just a, a backbone and a big part of our defensive unit. Smith looking to go deep, has a receiver. The ball will be incomplete, but we're going to get a pass interference call. He was trying to hit Antonio Lee down this near sideline. The pass fell incomplete, but there is a penalty flag around the 38-yard line, and it's going to be defensive pass interference. The coaches on the West Alabama sideline are trying to argue that it was uncatchable, but I don't think they're going to win that argument. Yeah, I think it's a, an argument that I would at least uh, take my shot at, but Coach Gillen is definitely not happy with that. Uh, especially considering the fact that the offensive pass interference that goes uncalled just about five minutes worth of game clock ago. And we're obviously too far away to read lips, but I'm pretty sure the linesman on this side said, look, it would have been catchable if your guy hadn't shoved him out of bounds. So oh, I, I misread that completely. I thought he was inviting him to, for Thanksgiving dinner, but either way, we'll go with yours uh, as it's going to be first down and 10 for Miles from the 47. Daniel Smith, quick pass to the left. The receiver gets it. He gets near midfield, and then he is jammed back into Miles' territory. They will give him forward progress up to midfield, but a great open field tackle by the West Alabama defense. Number 21, Danny Rambo, once again getting in there and putting a helmet on him to limit the gain for Miles College to two yards as they get a second down and eight at the midfield strike. Daniel Smith, three receivers right, two to his left. Miles, other than two plays, has gone empty backfield the entire night. Daniel Smith got the play from the sideline, relays it to his receivers. Now looks to be changing it again. Drops back, looking over the middle, has a receiver open, and that pass is caught down at the West Alabama 34-yard line. Very similar to the play that Peterson was able to get the interception. This time, the pass was a little bit more on the money and another Miles College first down. Unofficially, Daniel Smith, 8 of 13 on the night for just shy of 100 yards, so he's uh, kind of doing it for Miles College. Now you can make it 9 of 14 for Smith as that pass out to the left is complete to number 3, Leonard Tyree, one of his favorite targets tonight. That play will pick up only about 2, so it's going to be 2nd and 8. Ball at the West Alabama 32-yard line, 4.30 remaining first quarter. Miles leading West Alabama 7-6. to six. Tyree split out. Smith looking for the play from the sideline. He has it. Now he has the snap. Looking to his left. Now forced out of the pocket. He's going to try to escape. He gets away across the 30, across the 25 and he will be brought down at the West Alabama 22-yard line, and that will be enough for another Miles first down. And Smith, you can tell, wants to throw first, but if you force him out of the pocket, he's athletic enough. He can pick up those yards. Yeah, the transfer out of Maricopa Community College doing a good job to run the offense for Miles College. Kyler Mosley and company in on the stop for West Alabama. First and 10 miles at the UWA 22-yard line. Daniel Smith changing the play, surveying the defense, takes the snap, quick throw out to the left, and the pass is dropped. I believe that was Lee Anthony Robinson again. He had a little bit of green in front of him, but just didn't bring the ball in. It was a great throw by Daniel Smith, but Robinson just not able to corral it, so it's going to make it second and 10 at the West Alabama 22. Yeah, the redshirt sophomore just couldn't hold on to it as Smith brings him to the line, deploys five wide receivers as he puts one in motion, fakes the handoff. No, he hands it off to the wide receiver, and he breaks up across the line of scrimmage and is met by 
the UWA defender and just stops him in his tracks after a short gain. That's going to bring up a third down for Miles College. That last run by Santee Marshall, a running back that they line up in the slot. So now it's going to be third and five at the West Alabama 18. Under three minutes to go, first quarter. Smith, empty backfield, three receivers right, two to his left. Smith signaling to the receivers on his left. Now he will look to his right, now back to his left, now over the middle, has a receiver that passes, tipped up in the air, and it's intercepted by West Alabama in the end zone. They will bring it out across the 10, down at the 14. I believe that may have been Montel Dent, the senior defensive back with interception. That or Hutchinson? It looked like it was initially tipped by Chase Mitchell, and was that Nico Peterson that, that pulls down the football? I'm getting conflicting hand signals from around, but uh, we got a tip. It looked like it looked like Chase Mitchell was the initial uh, person that tipped it up. And that was a three, not an eight, as we've discussed before. These metallic, as they are referred to, the duct tape numbers are very difficult to read under the lights. And I originally thought it was number eight, Montel Dent, but I think it may have been Nico Peterson with his second interception of the night. So now, West Alabama will scrimmage from their own 14, first and 10, 2.29 remaining first quarter. It'll be a handoff up the middle, and that play will go nowhere as he will be brought down immediately at the 14. So maybe they're going to be generous and give him half a yard. So it'll be second and nine and a half for West Alabama. Initial hit right there made by number 49, Kadarius Roberts, the sophomore out of Bessemer, as he clogs up the would-be running lane. Satterwhite looking to throw. He'll throw out to his right, and the pass will be complete to number eight, Tyreek Martin. That play will get to the 20-yard line, so it's going to bring up another third down for West Alabama. Maxell Wells and Natavius Floyd in on the stop for the Golden Bears as the Tigers are looking at a third down and four from their own 20 as they trail seven to six here with 133 remaining in the first quarter. Setter White pistol formation, two receivers right, one to his left. Setter White looking to throw over the middle. That pass intended for Christian Salisbury, a little bit off target, and it will fall to the turf. And so it appears West Alabama will be in a punting situation, although we do have a flag that was thrown, but it will only be a sideline warning, no yardage given on the warning. And so it will be a punting situation for West Alabama. And again, that third down comes back to bite UWA. It's haunted them for uh, an entire week and then into this week as the third down and four goes incomplete. Fourth down for West Alabama as they're going to be punting it away from their own seven-yard line. High snap, Gaines able to get it off. High punt that will be fair caught by number 11, Lee Anthony Robinson at the Miles College 37-yard line. We're going to step away for a quick break. You're listening to West Alabama football on ESPN 104.9, ESPN1049.com. Leading 7-6, first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. Smith drops back to pass, has pressure, is able to get rid of it, trying to hook up with Lee Anthony Robinson on this near sideline. Check that, number 16, Kelvin Burridge. And the pass falls incomplete, so it'll be second and 10 miles, 101 remaining first quarter. Jordan Jones and Quadarius Reed in on the pressure for West Alabama, forcing that incomplete pass, second down and 10 from the miles 37 here with just under a minute remaining in this first quarter. Daniel Smith in pistol formation, two receivers to his left, one to the right, has an H back lined up behind the right tackle. The snap, the handoff, attacking the left side of the offensive line, and he will get up across the 40 of miles 
and up to the Miles 43-yard line. So a nice pickup there will bring up third down, four miles as we are under 40 seconds remaining first quarter. Tavarius Hutchinson in on the stop for West Alabama, and the quarterback, Lefty Southpaw, Daniel Smith, 9 of 17 for 102 yards here so far in this first half. I mean, first quarter. Smith has been impressive and has been able to pick up a number of first downs with his feet. Here he is in shotgun formation, moving around left, now right, throws back to his right, and that will fall incomplete. And really, you could tell he wanted to go deep left, but there was just no time and force to get rid of it, and so that'll bring up a punting situation for Miles. Good coverage for West Alabama, forcing him out of the pocket and then ultimately causing the fourth, fourth down. So it'll be fourth down and three, the punting unit on for the Golden Bears as the punter stands at his own 30-yard line. He'll be at his 30. He will be kicking to Christian Salisbury this time, the punt return man. Excited to see what he can do on punt returns. We know what he can do on kickoffs as he already has taken one back to the house tonight. Punt is away. It will be fielded by Salisbury at the 25 where he will fair catch it. And so a little late skirmish around midfield as a flag is thrown. We'll wait to see if either team gets flagged or that we get the offsetting penalties. Right now, West Alabama would start at their own 26-yard line, 7.4 seconds left, first quarter. Miles clinging to that 7-6 advantage. Miles scored first on a long touchdown pass to Leonard Tyree. West Alabama was able to answer immediately with a 94-yard kickoff return from Christian Salisbury. have an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against Miles and against West Alabama, so those will offset. It'll be first and 10 UWA from the 26-yard line. You can tell Coach Gilliland very upset. He thought that it should be against Miles and not have that offset uh, for West Alabama, and I don't, I don't disagree with him. I don't know that the offsetting penalties really do anything other than not punish either party. Right. I, unfortunately, I was I was watching the return, and then I look up, and all you see at the end was the Miles player pushing uh, Abraham Wallace down to the turf. But it's going to be first down and ten from the West Alabama 26-yard line. Satterwhite pistol formation, two receivers either way. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw, looking to his right. Nothing there. Dumps it over the middle. It'll be caught at the 30, and he will get up to the 32-yard line. Look like Derek Underwood with the reception coming out of the backfield. Antonio Evans and Darian Polnitz in on the stop for Miles College as the first quarter comes to an end with West Alabama trailing the Bears 7-6 here in Tiger Stadium. You're listening to West Alabama football on ESPN 104.9 and ESPN1049.com. to six over West Alabama. UWA will have it second and four at their own 33-yard line. Satterwhite brings the team from the sideline directly to the line of scrimmage. One receiver left, two to the right. Has two backs split to either side of him. One of them is Christian Salisbury, the wide receiver.
Sutter White sends Salisbury in motion, a swing pass out to Salisbury to the 30, 35, able to wrestle ahead to the UWA 39-yard line. It will be enough for a West Alabama first down. Salisbury's ridden out of bounds by number five, Keon Wheeler, the redshirt senior out of Atlanta, Georgia. But the West Alabama offense moving the chains first down and 10. Handoff. Bounced out to the right side, up to the 45-yard line. That was Derek Underwood on the carry, and he limps off the field. Looks like he took a little shot to the knee. He will come out. Tyler Rogers will enter the game. Rodney Coleman, Jr., and Natavius Floyd in on the stop for the Golden Bears and brings up a second down and three from the Tiger 46-yard line. Satter White pistol formation. Rogers behind him. Fakes the handoff to Rogers. Now looks to his right. Throws pass complete to Bailey Blanchard, who will be hog tied down into Miles territory. Ball will be marked at the Miles 43 yard line. It will be a first down West Alabama. Tigers quickly up to the line of scrimmage. Trips to the right, one to the left, and the play will be blown dead by the official and it will be a timeout, Miles. Quick timeout by Miles right there as they had too many players on the field. Give us an opportunity to kind of go over some of the first quarter statistics here from Tiger Stadium. Uh, West Alabama, no first downs in this first quarter. Total plays, seven total plays for 24 yards for West Alabama, the big return counting there six points. Miles College, 26 total offensive plays, 150 yards passing, nine of 18 with two interceptions and eight rushes for 48 yards for Miles College. Time of possession, Miles College 10.56 to the four minutes and four seconds for West Alabama. Really, you look at the stats and other than the kickoff return by Christian Salisbury, it was a first quarter that was totally dominated by Miles and one of the stats that we mentioned earlier in the broadcast that will continue to be a, a focus tonight, West Alabama 0 for 2 on third downs in the first quarter. West Alabama just getting their first first down of the night on this drive here in the second quarter. So West Alabama will have it now, 13-52 remaining first half, still trailing 7-6. to Satter White empty backfield, three receivers left, two to the right. Satter White looking to his right, clears out. Bailey Blanchard with the reception across the 30 and down to the Miles 26-yard line. That was a great job by the offensive line. That play right there took time to develop. They had to let Blanchard come all the way across to pick up the reception. Now Satter White with the ball back, looking over the middle. The pass is thrown, and it is complete to Quay Boyd inside the five-yard line, and once again, just seeing that Satterwhite throws it up in the air and Quay Boyd's going to come down with it. Nate Williams Jr. in on the stop, but Satterwhite moving quickly with his offense as he gets a first down and goal from his four-yard line. Satterwhite hand off up the middle to Rodgers. Play will get down to the three-yard line. So it's going to be second and goal from the three for West Alabama. UWA trying to go hurry up after that big pass play to Quay Boyd trying to catch Miles not ready, but Miles was able to regroup and bring him down after only a gain of a yard. So now second and goal from the three. Satter White, shotgun formation, looks to his left, has a man open in the corner of the end zone, and it's incomplete. Pass went in and out of the hands of the, retin of the intended receiver. I believe that was Quay Boyd on that far sideline, and that's something that you don't see very often is Quay Boyd drop a pass. Yeah, it looked like the uh, defensive back got a hand on it, just enough to disrupt the timing, and the ball is going to go incomplete as West Alabama's third down and goal from the Miles College four-yard line. Christian Salisbury checks into the game for Dominique McNeely. He will line up in the backfield again to Satterwhite's left. Here's Tevin Moore's checked in to Satterwhite's right. Salisbury in motion. Now Satterwhite throws back of the end zone. The pass to Quay Boyd is caught, and that is a West Alabama touchdown. Quay Boyd, the 6'5 senior from Lafayette, Alabama, reels in another one to get the Tigers 
six more points after reaching the end zone. 12-46 here remaining in this first half as the offensive unit does its job and the special teams will come on to try to attempt the point after. Jordan Bennett 0 for 1 on PATs tonight. We'll kick this one right down the middle. So with 12.46 remaining first half, West Alabama 13, Miles 7. You're listening to uh, West Alabama football on ESPN 104.9 and ESPN1049.com. Welcome back, Tiger Stadium, 12.46 remaining, first half. West Alabama 13, miles 7. And if you're having a hard time hearing us, you can send your complaints to the Miles College Marching Band. All 250 of them have made their way to Livingston, and they are making their presence known. Harry Satterwhite on the night for West Alabama, 8 of 10 for 78 yards with a touchdown strike. That has, uh, that's the biggest bulk of the 91 total yards of offense that West Alabama has accumulated uh, as opposed to Miles College, 150, as the kickoff team gets ready to boot it in there for West Alabama. Jordan Bennett kicks it off. He will be fielded at the two-yard line, returned up the left side, he will be met at the 18 and will go down at the Miles College 19. So only about 17 yards on the return. Good job by the coverage unit for West Alabama. Leading the charge for West Alabama, number eight, Montel Dent, the senior out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, product of Northridge High School, and on the stop for the Tigers. As we are leading the Golden Bears 13 to seven here in Tiger Stadium in a in a bit of desperation in the press box we have had to uh, attempt to close one of these windows in hopes that we could Daniel, hear ourselves think Daniel Smith with a quick pass across the middle that will be taken in by Lee Anthony Robinson it will be a gain of eight four miles so it will end up a second and two a second and a short two four miles from their own 23 no excuse me 27 yard line west alabama defense it's done a pretty good job throughout the evening uh looking over the situation as they deploy five wide receivers in the shotgun formation Empty backfield, sending a receiver in motion. There's the handoff across the formation. He will get up to the miles, 36-yard line again. That's Santee Marshall on the carry. He's listed as a running back. They have him in the slot, and a lot of times they'll bring him across the formation on that little jet sweep, and it's worked with some success tonight, especially on that last play, was able to pick up a miles first down. So it'll be first and 10 from the Miles 36-yard line, empty backfield, Smith back to pass, quick throw over the middle. It will be caught. It will be a gain of seven, four miles. And again, West Alabama really not allowing Daniel Smith any time to set his feet, so Miles is having to throw it in a hurry. As soon as the ball is brought down in on the stop, Tavarius Hutchinson breaks him down to the turf. It's going to bring up second down and three for the Golden Bears. Second and three, the snap, but we have whistles, I believe, Miles, the slot receiver, Santee Marshall jumped just a bit early, and so that will back up Miles five yards and make this a second and eight for the Golden Bears. A lot more manageable for the Tiger defense. Second and long here with the 11-14 remaining in the first half. Tigers lead 13-7 to over the Golden Bears from Miles College. Second and eight. 11.05 remaining first half. 
13-7 UWA. Daniel Smith, quarterback for Miles, empty backfield. Two receivers to his right, three to his left. Miles changed the play, now they're ready. Smith looking, motioning for his receiver to come across the middle. The pass is incomplete. Once it looked like it was intended for number 11, Lee Anthony Robinson, the redshirt sophomore, but a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and he's able to not able to get his feet set. He has to get a quick release. Is this going to bring up third down and seven for Miles College on their own 43-yard line? Third and seven miles, empty backfield once again. Daniel Smith checks the sideline for the play, now relays it to his offensive line. The snap, Smith back to pass, looking to his right, flushed out of the pocket, now fires a pass that is caught across midfield into West Alabama territory. There is a flag on the play, but the Miles receiver was able to haul in the reception. Wouldn't be surprised if this is pass interference on West Alabama, but either way, that was a great reception by Miles, and if it stands, it will be enough for another Miles first down. The official's getting it sorted out here as he looks to the home sideline to deliver the call. It will be defensive holding against Chase Mitchell, the junior defensive back. That penalty will be declined, and so it will be a Golden Bear first down. They will have it in West Alabama territory at the 49. Miles back up to the line of scrimmage. Daniel Smith surveying the Tiger defense. Southpaw now barking out orders to his offensive line. Now takes the snap, looking to his left, pump fake. Now he's going to go deep. The pass is tipped, and it is incomplete. Trying to hook up with Antonio Lee, the wide receiver, and trying to catch West Alabama with the double move. Yeah, Lee uh, was the intended receiver, and it looks like they were trying to go against Danny Rambo, but Rambo was able to break it up to bring up a second down for Miles College. Looks like we're starting to get a little little sprinkle in the rain there uh, as the, the field conditions here took on a ton of water yesterday, uh, almost covering this entire field, but the grounds crew got it all squared away as the Miles College puts their wide receiver and puts it into the belly of Santee, and he's going to cross the line of scrimmage across the 45, and he's going to be hauled down at the 42-yard line. There's a late penalty flag thrown from the defensive backfield. This is kind of in the area where you see holding against one of the wide receivers downfield. That would be a, a break for West Alabama because the play gained around seven yards, that little jet sweep to Santee Mitchell. No, it will be a face mask, personal foul against the offense, and so that will back them up even further. You're going to have a face mask on one of the wide receivers downfield trying to block, and that may have been the reason that Santee Mitchell was able to get so far into the secondary because one of our defenders had a hand all over his helmet and face mask. Yes, yeah, Santee Marshall uh, unofficially six carries today. But, uh, you know, he's listed, like you said, as a, as a running back, but he's had been split out several times this evening. Daniel Smith, empty backfield, looking to pass. Flushed out, running to his left. He's going to take off. He will get up near midfield, will go out of bounds at the Miles 48-yard line. So it's going to bring up a third and long for the Golden Bears. It'll be third and 13 from their own 48-yard line, 9.23 remaining first half, West Alabama leading 13-7. to seven. Daniel Smith has the Golden Bears at the line of scrimmage. Empty backfield, three receivers right, two to his left. Changing the play. Now trying to communicate to his offensive lineman. Smith drops back to pass, looking to his right, now back over the middle, and that will be hauled in at the 35. He's at the 30 and down to the West Alabama 26-yard line. Lee Anthony Robinson, one of Smith's favorite targets tonight with the reception, 
and the yardage will be good enough for a Miles first down, make it first and 10 at the West Alabama 27-yard line, 844 remaining first half. Robinson with his fourth catch of the night, and Derek Underwood in on the stop for West Alabama, but not before the Golden Bears pick up the first down. First down and 10 from the Tiger 27. Smith looking to pass, quick pass out to his left. That was deflected at the line of scrimmage, but was still able to get to the receiver, Antonio Lee. It will be hauled in, but it will be only a short gain. It will be a pickup of about three Bring up second and seven. Ball will be at the Tiger 24-yard line. Just over eight minutes, eight minutes left. First half. West Alabama 13. Miles seven. Golden Bears back up to the line. Empty backfield. Three receivers right to the left. Wide receiver in motion. There is the handoff across the formation to the right. Number 17, Wade Streeter, will get to the 20. And so it will force a third down, third and a long three, third and four for the Golden Bears. Sky's, Skyler Mosley recording his second tackle of the night to bring up that third down and short, as you mentioned, Robert. Daniel Smith with the Bears back up to the line of scrimmage. Empty backfield once again. Smith looking to throw, going to throw a fade route to the end zone. That pass is Good for a Miles College Golden Bear touchdown. Beautiful reception on that far right-hand side. Just able to bring it in above a West Alabama defender. Just a jump ball type situation that the Golden Bear was able to win. Looked like Tavarius Hutchinson in coverage for West Alabama and just wasn't able to get that pass broken up as Miles College reaches the end zone to tie it up at 13 here with a PAT forthcoming. For West Alabama, I mean, uh, four miles, excuse me. Bradley Hamill in for a second PAT of the night. This one, just like the first, is good. And so it is Miles College 14, West Alabama 13, 7 14 remaining first half. You're listening to West Alabama football on ESPN 1049 and ESPN1049.com. Welcome back, 7-14 remaining first half here at Tiger Stadium. Miles College just scored their second touchdown of the night to retake the lead, 14-13 over West Alabama. Will, it's been a game UWA just can't seem to get much going offensively. They get a first down, maybe two, and then that third down conversion bug just bites them again. Yeah, they, they've only had four first downs uh, unofficially here in this contest. And, you know, what started out should have been a 6 o'clock kickoff, ends up getting delayed an hour and a half. And you got to figure that, that some of that delay has to factor into, you know, the things that we're seeing right here for West Alabama. With 7-14 remaining in the first half, the Tigers are down by one. And, uh, you know, they're going to have to to make some adjustments here as this game progresses, especially – uh, going into halftime, but uh, Miles College doing what they need to right now uh, with their left-handed quarterback moving them down the field. They have the lead here on the road. 14-13 miles as Bradley Hamill gets ready to kick it off for the Golden Bears. He will kick more of a sky kick this time that will hit at the 20, bounces up where it is fielded at the 19, across the 30 up to the 37-yard line for West Alabama. So a nice job on the return. That may have been Tyreek Martin, number eight. No. Again, I, I can't tell with these metallic numbers, Will. You're going to have to help me out. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I was looking the uh, on the tackle, Mitchell Smiley, and for West Alabama, that would have been Tyreek Martin. You were correct the first time. But, uh, you know, it's, it's tough with the – the metallic jerseys, especially when they get folded up under their shoulder pads, 
uh, as they are here. As West Alabama comes to the line, first down and 10 on their own 37. 7.06 remaining, first half. Satterwhite will flip the snap to number two Christian Salisbury on a sweep. He's not able to get anything. He loses three yards. West Alabama is going to get an illegal shift. They had one receiver who went in motion and then was not set for one second before Salisbury came in motion. So it'll be an illegal shift. I believe Miles will decline it. They will. They will take the play, which was a loss. And so it's going to push West Alabama back to their own 39-34 yard line. So it will be second and 13 for the Tigers. Three receivers split left, one to the right. Running back to the right of Satterwhite. Satterwhite looking to pass, throws, finds Blanchard across the 45, up to midfield, and then he goes down finally at the Miles 48-yard line. So good to see Satterwhite connecting with Blanchard here tonight. Nice job right there by the duo from West Alabama as they get quickly to the line, first down and 10 inside Miles territory. Satterwhite looking to pass, looking towards Blanchard's way again, deep right sideline. Blanchard unable to come up with it, but we are going to have a pass interference, a flag thrown. Blanchard was trying the arm bar to keep that distance, and so it easily could be offensive pass interference, but the way Miles is disputing the call, it looks like it will be against the Golden Bears. It's going to go against number 23, Rodney Coleman, Jr. Uh, just got a little bit too much activity right there for the officials liking. He throws the flag. Fortunate for West Alabama. So it will make it a first and 10 UWA. 619 remaining first half. UWA trailing by one, 14-13. Satterwhite, two receivers right, two to the left. Running back to Satterwhite's left. The snap, the handoff. Nothing doing on the play with a late flag coming in. Just no room on that right side for Tevin Moore trying to find the corner, but Miles too fast to the spot, and they bring him down for a loss, but there is a flag on the play. Natavius Floyd in on the stop for the Golden Bears as we await the official's official call. It will be holding against West Alabama. Miles will accept this penalty. It will back up the Tigers 10 yards. Make it first and 20 from the Golden Bear 43-yard line. 6.05 remaining, first half, 14-13. Miles College, a missed extra point, the difference in the game. Satterwhite, two receivers left, one to the right. Satterwhite looking to throw, checks it down. To Tevin Moore, he is able to get three yards on the play before he is knocked viciously out of bounds. Kendrell Walker steps up out of that defensive back position to lay the hit. West Alabama trying to inch their way back into uh, the end zone. Second down and a long 17 for the Tigers from the Golden Bears 41 with five and a half minutes remaining here in this first half. Yeah, West Alabama trying to score a touchdown, not sure how much confidence they have in Jordan Bennett, who has already missed an extra point tonight. Satterwhite looking to throw, play fake, to the right, finds Quay Boyd at the 30, and he will be knocked out of bounds at the 29. A late flag thrown deep from the secondary. You gotta hope that that is some type of holding on Miles and not a push off on Quay Boyd. Quay Boyd, it looked like it was a, a clean reception, but the official nearest us as far as the sideline uh, throws that flag about 15 yards. It's laying on the 29-yard line right in the neighborhood of where the reception and, and the defender, Kendrell Walker, brought him down. And they will wave that flag off so the reception to Boyd will stand, but it will still bring up a third down for West Alabama at the Miles College 29-yard line. 
Harry Satterwhite looking to get his offense in some sort of rhythm here with five minutes remaining in the first half as he gets the signal from the sideline. He's going to deploy, deploy two wide receivers to the near side, two to the far side, and one man in the backfield. Third and five Tigers scrimmaging from the Miles College 29-yard line. Satterwhite pistol formation, looking to throw, looking to his left, has a receiver wide open at the 20. The pass is complete and gets away from from one man and will get down to the 18-yard line and another penalty flag comes out. This would appear to be potentially a face mask against Miles. Good coverage right there, but it looks like he may have got a hand, as you said, Robert, to the face. As a white hat comes to midfield, he's going to call a personal foul face mask against Miles College, so Keep the change moving for West Alabama as the personal foul goes in favor of the Tigers. The yardage on the reception would have been enough for a first down, but then the penalty yards are tacked on, so now it's first and goal West Alabama from the miles nine. Two receivers right, two to the left. Tevin Moore in the backfield behind Satterwhite. Satterwhite looking to throw, looking for Quay Boyd, jumps up and is shoved from behind, and that brings another penalty this one has to be pass interference against Miles. In coverage for Miles College, number 38, Ruben Sartine, the junior out of New Orleans, a transfer out of Steelman College. Looks like they had a little, little extracurricular there for just a split second as it's going to be first down and goal from the Miles College three-yard line. penalty they ruled was in the end zone so the ball will be placed at the two first and goal West Alabama from the miles two Satterwhite with more to his left hands off to Moore tries the left side and he will get down to the one but that is it bring up second and goal from there four minutes now remaining first half miles 14 West Alabama 13 Anthony Pennington on the stop for Miles College. Second down and goal as Satterwhite brings him to the line. Satterwhite the snap, looking to the right, trying to find Blanchard crossing in the end zone, and it is good for a West Alabama touchdown. Satterwhite to Blanchard from two yards out, and UWA has retaken the lead, 19-14, 340 remaining first half. Satterwhite delivers a strike right to Blanchard, and he's able to get it across the goal line to give West Alabama a 19 to 14 lead here with 340 remaining in the first half. PAT forthcoming for West Alabama as they get everyone to the line, make sure that they've got everyone. They call out the cadence. The snap's good. The hold is down. The kick is up, and the kick is going to be good as he splits it through the uprights, and West Alabama extends the lead. 20 to 14 over the visiting Golden Bears of Mile College here on ESPN 104 and ESPN1049.com. Welcome back. 340 remaining in the first half here at Tiger Stadium. West Alabama has just scored two-yard pass from Harry Satterwhite to Bailey Blanchard, and West Alabama has retaken the lead 20-14 to in a back-and-forth game that has really been an exciting night here at Tiger Stadium. It's been some fun football. Unofficially, Harry Satterwhite, 14 of 18 for 120 yards and two scores for the senior. Um, that, that's, that's been the bulk of of the 133 yards of offense that, that uh, West Alabama has been able to put up only rushing for 13 yards here in this first half. Jordan Bennett gets ready to kick the ball back to the Golden Bears. End over end kick will be taken a yard deep in the end zone. Miles will bring it out across the 10, 15, 20, 25, leaps over one man, 
and is out to the 32-yard line. So a nice return, four miles. They'll set up shop first and 10 at their own 32-yard line, 330 remaining first half, West Alabama 20, miles 14. About a 31, 32-yard return right there for miles, but Tavarius Hutchinson, the special team stop for West Alabama as the defensive unit comes on for the Tigers to look at a first down and 10 for Miles College from their own 32-yard line. Tigers lead 20 to 14 here in front of the home crowd as Miles gets ready to start from scrimmage with five wide receivers and puts a man in motion. Into the belly of Santee, but they're going to blow the whistle dead. Yeah, Miles trying their little jet sweep to Santee. Marshall had room on the left-hand side, but the play was blown dead. It'll be a false start against Miles that'll back them up five yards, be first and 15 from their own 27-yard line, 327 remaining, first half, 20-14, to 14, West Alabama with the lead. Sixth penalty of the night unofficially for Miles College, totaling about 56 yards. As we still have a light mist falling on the Tiger faithful, that doesn't seem to be dampening anyone's spirits tonight as we have a, a whole host of Tiger fans that are here. The student section uh, seems to be excited about this Thursday night football game, especially with the Tigers leading here 20 to 14 with just over three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Miles will go first and 15 from their own 32, excuse me, own 27 yard line. Daniel Smith, empty backfield, three receivers left, quick pass out to the left side, across the 30, 35, 40, 45, who will be tackled up high around midfield. He will actually get into West Alabama territory. Again, that was the Anthony Robinson on the reception. Nice yardage across midfield down to the West Alabama 49-yard line. Miles quickly back up to the line of scrimmage. That will be a quick handoff to number 20, who's not, of course, on the roster four miles, but he will get down to the West Alabama 45-yard line. So it'll be a pickup of four. It'll bring up second and six. We're now under three minutes remaining first half. Number 20 on a updated roster is Malik Stevens. So he will get credit for the carry be four yards to the West Alabama 45. Second and six miles, approaching two and a half minutes remaining. Daniel Smith, shotgun formation. Quick pass out to the right side. The Anthony Robinson will get it across the 45 to the 43-yard line of West Alabama, bringing up third and four for the Golden Bears. And on the stop for West Alabama, number 34, Skyler Mosley and company as they stop the Golden Bears for a third down. It's going to bring up third down and four from the Tiger 23-yard line as the Tigers lead 20 to 14. Smith empty backfield once again, looking to the sideline for the play, now relaying it to his wide receivers. Smith drops back to pass, quick pass out to the right. That will be complete. It will be good for a first down. It will be down to the West Alabama 37-yard line. Be first and 10, Golden Bears, the UWA 37-yard line, 148 remaining first half. West Alabama trying to hold Miles out of the end zone as we approach halftime. Chase Mitchell with his fifth tackle of the night brings the Miles College receiver as the quarterback looks over the offense. He's got trips to the near side. Two wide receivers to the far side, three-step drop. He looks, he fires, complete plat pass, but he is absolutely leveled by Terry Samuel after a short gain as the West Alabama crowd liked that hit. But they did not like the penalty flag that was thrown at the feet of Samuel, and you hate to speculate, but this may be a targeting penalty, and if it is, it could mean the ejection of Samuel for the rest of the game, which would be a huge blow for the Tigers. Terry Samuel unofficially tonight with nine total tackles, and that would be a dagger uh, for the defensive unit as Samuel is the one of the leaders of that group. Samuel is the 2017 
Defensive Player of the Year for GSC. It will be a personal foul. It will be a targeting call, and it will be an ejection. So Terry Samuel is coming off the field, and his night will be done. That is a huge blow for West Alabama. He was the second leading tackler in the game last week, already tonight with nine tackles. And as we mentioned, the GSC Defensive Player of the Year last year, so just a, a huge blow for West Alabama, who was already missing Terrence Jones, who suffered a knee injury last week. So the Tigers down two starters. So right now it's first and 10 miles at the West Alabama 16, there's the handoff to Stevens. He tries the left side, nothing there, reverses his field, but he will be brought down after a gain of about a half yard. So it's going to make it second and nine, under a minute in the first half. West Alabama 20, miles 14. Miles still with two timeouts, but electing to hurry up. They're at the line of scrimmage. Daniel Smith looks back to the sideline for the play. Smith now awaiting the snap, takes two steps, will run it up the middle. Now he will throw a receiver open in the end zone who slips, and the ball falls to the turf. Had a man wide open, but on this wet field, the pass was a little bit behind him. Feet came out from under him, so it's incomplete. It will be third down and about nine and a half with 32.1 seconds remaining first half. A couple of things factor in right there. The excitement of seeing somebody wide open. He just kind of short-armed it a little bit. Threw it behind his Woodry receiver, and when he slammed on the brakes, his feet just came out from under him as once again Miles in the shotgun with five wide receivers set. Daniel Smith again looking back to his sideline for the play. Now he relays it to his offensive lineman, the right tackle on this side, having trouble getting the play in. And so Miles will spend their second time out. They will have one remaining, 32.1 seconds left. First half, West Alabama 20, Miles 14. As I mentioned, Miles still will have one time out left. It is third and 10 with 32 seconds left. So Miles has plenty of time to do whatever they want to do. They can throw across the middle. A first down would obviously stop the clock until the chains are reset. And they still have one timeout that they can keep in their back pocket, maybe for a field goal attempt at the end of this half if West Alabama's defense is able to hold them out. Quarterback for Miles College, Daniel Smith, 20 of 32 on the night for 223 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. He's hooked up with six different receivers, two of his favorites, Lenard, Lenard Tyree and Robinson, each with six catches. Uh, Tyree with 79 yards and two touchdowns, and Robinson with 68 yards on those six catches. Miles back up at the line of scrimmage, third and 10 from the West Alabama 16. Empty backfield, three receivers left, two to the right. Smith looking to his right, now forced out of the pocket, to his left, running, will throw into the end zone. The pass will fall incomplete, thrown just a little bit too far. The receiver not able to haul it in and keep his feet in bounds. So that will bring up a fourth down with 22.2 seconds left. First half, and Miles will bring on the field goal unit. Great pressure on Smith right there by number 54, Andreas Lilly, the sophomore out of Montevallo, Alabama, as he chases him out of the pocket and forces him to unload one there. As the field goal will be attempted, hash mark right. So it's going to be about a 33-yard attempt. The kick is up. It is low, and it is no good. Pushed it to the left, Bradley Hamill. You could tell right off the turf that kick was low, and it just kind of hooked a little bit to the left. And so West Alabama will cling to that 20-14 to 14 lead, 17.8 seconds remaining first half. West Alabama, you got to expect, first half hasn't gone exactly how you wanted it to. 17.8 seconds, you got all three timeouts. Do you dare try something here? 
Well, you know, with Harry Satterwhite, the, the guy who right now he's 14 of 18 for 120 yards, two touchdowns, and a lot of maturity, uh, they're going to be able to do, you know, whatever they feel like as far as uh, having a confident quarterback in the game as he is in the shotgun formation with three wide receivers to the far side, one to the near side. It will be a handoff up the middle across the 25 down to the 27-yard line, up to the 27-yard line. That will be Tyler Rogers on the pickup, and West Alabama is just content to let this clock run out as we have reached halftime. At halftime here at Tiger Stadium, West Alabama 20, miles 14. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we will review the first half stats and get you ready for the second half kickoff. You're listening to West Alabama Football on ESPN 104.9 and ESPN 104.9.com. Hey, Brady, are we muted over here? Are they listening to them, too? Welcome back to Tiger Stadium here in Livingston, Alabama. It's the halftime show. I'm Nicholas, here, Nicholas Finch here bringing you your halftime stats. Right now, if you hear that loud noise in the background, that is the Mile College Golden Bears marching band. They are putting on a show here in Livingston. Speaking of putting on a show, um, Miles College has come to play. It's 20-14 to 14 here at the half, the UWA leading, but Miles College isn't messing around here. Um, They've gotten five, 15 first downs compared to nine for UWA. We're going to do team stats first here. Um, total offensive yards, 46 plays for 293. West Alabama, 20 plays less, 26 plays for 140 yards. 
Um, it's been pretty much a kickoff that made the difference. Two kickoff returns for 112 yards for UWA. Three kickoff returns for 59 yards. Mellon's College has possessed the ball 19 minutes and 22 seconds. So that's a big part of the story here in this one. UWA has only held the ball for 10 minutes and 38 seconds. Now let's look at the individual stats first for Miles College. Their quarterback, Daniel Smith, he's 20 of 33, uh, 233 yards. He's thrown two interceptions, but two touchdowns as well. The leading receiver is Leonard Tyree, six receptions, 79 yards, both of those touchdowns. Anthony Robinson with six, rece uh, six receptions for 68 yards. And Tonya Lee, four receptions for 21 yards. And then Marshall, two receptions for 23 yards. And none of them have, none of them have caught, well, I would put it like this, everyone has a long play. Robinson's longest play is 30 yards on a catch. Leonard, uh, excuse me, Tyree's longest catch is 29. Lee's longest catch is 11. And Marshall's longest catch is 16. Leading rusher for Miles College is Daniel Smith. He's carried the ball four times for 37 yards. Behind him is Marshall, kind of a slot kind of um, spot. He's gone um, five carries for 19 yards, or, excuse me, for 18 yards. Wade Streeter, two carries for 11 yards. And then Stevens, two carries, four yards. Over on defense here for Miles College, Stevens is the leading tackle. He had tackler. He has five total, four uh, assisted, one unassisted. Floyd and Catavius, four total tackles, all assists. Walker with three tackles, two unassisted, and one assisted. Rodney Coleman with three tackles as well, two unassisted, one assisted. Back over on the West Alabama side, it's been tough going on the offense. Harry Sutterwhite, 14 of 18, sounds great, only 120 yards, does have two touchdown passes. One goes to Bailey Blanchard. He has four receptions for 48 yards. And other than Quay Boyd, he has three receptions for 38 yards. Tevin Moore has two receptions for eight yards. And Christian Salisbury with two receptions for three yards. Um, not much going on the, off, uh, on the uh, rushing attack here for UWA. Uh, if you look at it, uh, it's eight carries for 20 yards. That was a tough spot, a sore spot in game one. Is a sore spot here again in this second game. On Tyler Rogers, two carries for seven yards. Derek Underwood, one carry, seven yard. Um, Harry Satterwhite has a rush himself for three yards. And then Tim and Moore, four carries in three yards. Um, Zach Gaines has done a good job with punting, two punts, um, 91 yards, 45.5 average. Um, he's booted one inside the 20. I believe that actually stopped around the six or seven yard line, the one he booted inside the 20. It's really, really close down here. Um, Christian Salisbury, one um, return, kick return for 95 yards and a score. Tariq Martin with a kick return for 17 yards. Terry Samuel, we'll get to him in a second. Um, he leading, he's the leading tackler. He'll stay there with uh, nine tackles, five unassisted, four assisted. Chase Mitchell with five tackles, uh, four unassisted. Tavarius Hutchison with four tackles, three unassisted. Nikaris Peterson, three tackles, all unassisted. We'll take a break. We'll talk about the scoring plays and what UWA needs to do to take a more decisive lead here in the second half. This is UWA football on ESPN 104.9. So much pain. Yes, and they can be the big bucks. They go to the big bucks. They can be 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 the big
multiple downs at the corner of Highway 80 and 43 in the great metropolis of Hermopolis, Chevrolet, Fine New Road. Welcome back to Tiger Stadium. It's halftime here in Livingston. West Alabama with a 20 to 14 lead over the visiting Miles College Bears. So let's look at the scoring plays. Uh, our first score came in uh, with 12 minutes and 26 seconds on the first quarter clock. Miles College, it was a Leonard Tyree uh, 29 yard pass from Daniel Smith to put Miles ahead 7 to 0. West Alabama responded with a kickoff return by Christian Salisbury, 95 yards. However, the kick failed, and Miles College retained a 7-6 lead. UWA would take the lead for the first time with 12 minutes and 46 seconds on the second quarter clock when Quay Boy caught a four-yard pass from Harry Satterwhite to make it 13-7 in favor of the home team. Miles College responded with 7:43 on the second quarter clock. Tyree Leonard with another touchdown pass from Daniel Smith to make it 14-13 after the um, extra point was good from Brady Hamill. And then finally, Bailey Blanchard caught a two-yard pass from Harry Satterite with three minutes and 40 seconds to go in the second half, I mean, excuse me, in the second quarter to make it 20-14 to in favor of the home team. And that's where we are here with uh, that's about eight, uh, nine minutes and 30 seconds to go before the second half. Coach, you want to hop in real quick and talk about what's going on in this game? What a first half, Nick. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's been a really a great first half of Miles College. I mean, if they had been able to finish a couple of drives, they could have more than 14 points on the board. Well, you know, it. the whole night started with the weather delay, and, and I think that got both of these clubs – uh, a little out of their normal rhythm, especially West Alabama, because, you know, when you're at home on game day, you know, there's certain things that you do and, 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 and a way that you progress through the, you know, the warm-up and that kind of thing, and then having a delay and then, you know, okay, we're going to go back out on the field and, nope, we got to go back to the locker room. It just takes its toll, and uh, I think that they're just going to have to make some adjustments here at halftime and, and figure out a way to, to get more momentum in their favor and more things moving in the direction that they would like. Uh, you know, West Alabama and, and, and Miles, not a team that we have seen, teams that we've seen play a lot in recent years. I mean, I know we played them in the playoffs and then we played them last year, but they don't have a huge recent history. So, you know, here in the first half, West Alabama up by six. Uh, you know, it's a good game here. And, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to those adjustments that uh, they make in the the locker room and see what this second half has to hold. Now, um, one of the most important things that happened in that second quarter in that first half, we have to talk about it, is uh, Terry Samuel was flagged for targeting. He's done for for the game. So can you talk about, first of all, the play that it happened on, and secondly, how is that going to impact the team here in the second half? Well, I think Samuel, uh, obviously, uh, if he could take it back, I feel like he would. I, I It's hard to see game speed when there's so much going on. To, to say whether or not it was targeted or not, but the officials have a good vantage point on it, and they, you know, keep a very good, uh, you know, very good eye out for that, for the safety of the players and whatnot. Uh, as far as the impact it's going to have on the Tigers, uh, it's definitely one of those things that you don't want to see happen. One of your defensive leaders uh, goes out for the basically the entire second half. Uh, but the thing that I will say in that regards, even though he's one of your leaders, this is a defense that they have – some depth they have some guys that can come in and fill that spot so i think you're going to see some some guys challenged by the coaching staff uh to come in and fill that role uh that samuels will will leave void because you know i think he left unofficially i think he had nine tackles uh when he left the game so obviously the leading tackler of this game and a defensive player of the year from a year ago but uh, this team it's not just a it's just not a a, a, a one player team you know there it's a team for a reason they they've got that's why they preach their brotherhood and, and that, uh, you know, that type of mentality. So it's just the next person's going to have to step up and, and shoulder a little bit more of the load with Samuels out for the second half. 
Uh, you mentioned earlier that both teams kind of started out sluggish. I've talked about it um, during the first part of the halftime show. West Alabama with only 140 yards of offense, and most of it through the air, um, only 20 yards uh, in the rushing game. So what do you think the Tigers are going to need to do to get that rushing game going and get this offense on track? Well, they've got the three-headed monster that they've just got to figure out how to, to, to distribute the football and, and figure out where the chink in the Miles College uh, armory is, so to speak. You know, Miles has come out and, and, and done what they've needed to do, you know, to give themselves an opportunity, and, and West Alabama has answered with some big plays. And, you know, I don't even know how to put it into words, but, you know, it's just one of those situations that I really believe that when West Alabama gets into their groove and, and gets into their rhythm, things will start to click for them. And they just haven't been able to get into that groove, so to speak, in this first half. So just going to take a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Uh, about five minutes to go before the start of the second half. What would you like to see from UWA? What do you think would be the best way to start this second half if you're UWA? Well, I think, you know, from, from, a, from a fan standpoint, you want to see them score uh, in this first drive. But, you know, I would personally like to see it. It doesn't have to be some big knockout play just to come out and have the first series where they – impose their will the offensive line takes control of the line of scrimmage and give them an opportunity to you know maybe to get that running game going get those wide receivers you know even more involved I think we've had six wide receivers involved and that's a really cool thing for West Alabama because they do have a lot of weapons but you know to come out I'd like to see them you know take control take control of the line of scrimmage and see if they can get this run game going just to give them a little bit more balanced attack so Miles just can't sell out for the run or the pass. And one thing I like to see or hear in this case is the crowd come alive a little bit. You know, they've kind of been sitting on these hand, on their hands these past two weeks. You like to see this crowd show a little bit more emotion here in the second half. Well, I was really concerned. With the weather, I thought that there was an opportunity that we may not have a big crowd tonight, that they might not show up or the weather would deter them from coming out. But I'll tell you what, I mean, we've got the entire lower section filled right now. We've got people scattered out through the hill on both sides. Uh, and the folks from the, uh, the, the reserve seatings are coming back up from their uh, halftime festivities. So the folks here that made the trip uh, to Livingston, whether it be from Birmingham or, or other parts to cheer on the Tigers, um, they've gotten a good show. They've gotten a great uh, half of football, and I think there's a, another great half of football still to go as we're about three and a half minutes, uh, three, and a 45, three minutes and 45 seconds here. Uh, before we get this second half underway. And we'll take a break till then. This has been the Halftime Show. Nicholas Finch and Will Atkinson on this Halftime Show. And when you come back, it'll be Robert Archurch and Will Atkinson for the second half of action here in Tiger Stadium in Livingston, Alabama. This is UWA Football on ESPN 104.9. Welcome back. We are still around one minute away from the kick of the second half here at Tiger Stadium. West Alabama with a 20-14 halftime advantage. 
And, Will, I know you all talked about the statistics a little bit earlier, but there's just not a whole lot of good to talk about. I mean, other than Christian Salisbury's 94-yard kickoff return, offense was just never able to really get anything going, and West Alabama could not get miles off the field on third downs. You know, the really weird thing is it's week two of the season, but it feels so much like week one. This is the kind of thing that you kind of anticipate uh, on an on a opening week. Maybe you can't get your offense going and you just can't get into that rhythm. But holy cow, um, I think West Alabama is pretty fortunate right here to, to have the lead that they have. Um, and hopefully they can make the adjustments here in this second half uh, to get that momentum and, and get things going um, despite losing Terry Samuel for the second half. Not only did they lose Terry Samuel to the targeting call, which brings with it an ejection, they are also going to have to play the second half without starting left tackle Brandon Anderson. He injured his foot close to the end of the first half, and he will be out for the remainder of the night. And also Tyler Rogers is questionable to return. He was injured on the last play of the half, the run up the middle to close out the first half. So a lot of adjustments that the coaches are going to have to make heading into this second half if they want to pull out a victory here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a game of adjustments, and, and it's the team that's going to be able to recognize the adjustments that need to be made and then make those uh, typically have the better opportunity to come out um, on top. And um, for those that, that weren't here and, and, and didn't hear it over the, the airwaves and whatnot, uh, we were treated to a, a massive uh, band in, in Miles College for part of the halftime show, and uh, their 200 and folk, 250 member band uh, looks like they've headed to the bus and, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get this window open back up. Maybe we can get some air in here and, and uh, actually be able to hear ourselves think a little bit as we get uh, ready to start this second half of play. West Alabama won the opening coin toss. They deferred to the second half, so they will receive here to begin the third quarter. And the official just came over the his microphone to let people know that during halftime they reviewed the hit that Terry Samuel had on the Miles College receiver and the targeting call was confirmed. And so Samuel will be disqualified for this second half. West Alabama defense will have to rely on some others to step up and take the place of the 2017 GSC defensive player of the year but first West Alabama's offense will be on the field and will be looking to try to get some momentum going here early in this third quarter there is the kick it is a sky kick again that will be fielded at the 20 will be reversed to the right he's up to the 25 the 30 35 and out across the 40 yard line that is Tyreek Martin once again in miles very wisely trying to stay away from Christian Salisbury. Avoiding Salisbury, uh, just like you mentioned, a good call for Miles College. Number 24, Mitchell Smiley in on the stop, the freshman from Huntsville, Alabama. But uh, decent return here for West Alabama as they're going to start first down and 10 from their own 41-yard line as we get this third quarter underway. Good field position for the Tigers and Harry Satterwhite who leads the Offensive unit out, two receivers left, two to the right, a running back behind Satterwhite. He'll throw to Bailey Blanchard on the near side. Blanchard hauls it in and will get up to the 44-yard line. It'll be a short gain, a gain of about three for West Alabama, bringing up second and seven. Rodney Coleman, Jr., and Natavius Floyd in on the stop for the Golden Bears. After a short gain on first down, brings up second down and seven for West Alabama. Satterwhite looking to throw once again, has Blanchard over the middle again. This time Blanchard will get out across the 50. He will be near first down yardage, and they are going to signal first down West Alabama. So right off the bat, UWA two pass plays to Bailey Blanchard, resulting in 10 yards. So UWA will have first and 10 at the Miles College, 49 with 14 minutes left, third quarter. Sixth reception for Blanchard is... Satterwhite brings his offense to the line. Satterwhite 
play fake. Now looking to throw again. Will throw to Blanchard. He will get down to the Miles 44-yard line. So it's going to be a gain of about five, maybe even six yards. That's Blanchard's seventh reception on the night. Last week, he only had two receptions for 25 yards. So you can already see that bond really starting to build between Satterwhite and Blanchard. Second and four Tigers, 13-27 remaining third quarter. Ball at the Miles 43-yard line. Satterwhite looking to throw once again. Looking, looking, has a man open at the 15. He's got it down to the 10, makes a man miss. He is at the five, and he will be collared. No, he is still going, and he is into the end zone. Number four, Dominique McNeely. What an effort. Was wide open on the play, and then Miles, even though there were five men around him, could not bring him in, and so that will be a 43-yard touchdown strike from Harry Satterwhite to Dominique McNeely. Terrific play. Busted coverage to begin with and then just complete effort play at the end. And, of course, check that again. I believe that was Christian Salisbury with the touchdown reception. These jerseys, we're going to say it, it's tough. Salisbury is able to get into the end zone. West Alabama attacks on their point after. But as you mentioned, at about the 12-yard line, Salisbury gets wrapped up. He avoids a would-be tackler, squirts away from the second guy, and then drags three more guys into the end zone to give West Alabama the lead. Here we are with 13.04 remaining in the third quarter. West Alabama 27, the Golden Bears of Miles College 14. And what a fantastic individual effort right there by Christian Salisbury. Christian Salisbury, who had the 94-yard kickoff return for a touchdown early in the first quarter, is able to haul in that 43-yard reception from Harry Satterwhite. Busted coverage to begin with, and then he just did the rest on his own from about the 10-yard line on, was able to dodge multiple Miles College defenders, and finally, was able to find his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So with 13.04 remaining third quarter, West Alabama's leading 27 to 14 over Miles College. That touchdown pass was Salisbury's third catch of the night. He's got 46 yards uh, on the night, averaging 15.3. And uh, I tell you what, he's been impressive uh, so far tonight and, and doing a great job for this West Alabama offense. He really brings that other dimension to the passing game, that deep threat that we had so often last year. And now Jordan Bennett approaches and will kick it deep two miles. This kick will drift seven, eight yards into the end zone and then through the end zone. And so Miles will let that go, and they will start first and 10 at their own 25-yard line, 13.04 remaining third quarter. Miles College has been led tonight by Daniel Smith, the quarterback. He's 20 of 33 for 233 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. He's been able to hook up with six different wide receivers with his favorites being Tyree and Robinson. Uh, four guys rushing the football for Miles College, uh, all with about equal carries. You know, and that's impressive for Daniel Smith. Last week against Alabama A&M, he was only 3 of 11 for 21 yards, so a night and day difference from last week to this week. Smith brings them in motion. He'll have a little flip pass to the wide receiver in motion who gets it across the 25 up to the 29-yard line. There is a penalty flag that is thrown at the 22 in the area where you usually see holding. Josh Hatcher leading the way for West Alabama defense as he drags him down. The official saying it's going to be holding against the offense. So that will push Miles back 10 yards. It'll be first and 20 this time. They will be scrimmaging from their own 15-yard line. Daniel Smith again brings them to the line of scrimmage. Miles forego in the huddle. There will be two receivers right, two to the left. Daniel Smith will have a running back behind him in the pistol formation. Smith with the snap, fakes the handoff, a little pop pass to the slot receiver who will get it up to the 23-yard line. That's Lee Anthony Robinson again. And so that play will pick up round eight yards. Mitchell and Lilly in on the stop for West Alabama as Smith looks to the line trying to get 
the play call. He has what we've seen all night long, deployed wide receivers to both sides, one man in the backfield. So second and 12 from the Miles 23-yard line, 12-10 remaining third quarter, 27-14. Handoff up the middle, a huge hit, and I believe the ball popped loose. There's a scrum at the 22-yard line. Miles was able to fall on it, but a terrific play by the interior of the UWA defensive line, holding him for no gain, maybe even a loss of half a yard, bringing up a third and long. Darius Ellis, the first Tiger right there to really put the pressure on as it's going to be third down and long for the Golden Bears as they deploy three wide receivers to the top side of the field, two here to the near side, nobody in the backfield. Daniel Smith looking to throw to his right. He will go that direction, has a receiver at the 30 who is hit immediately. He will not have enough for the first down, and so that will bring up a punting situation four miles west Alabama able to get that early stop after getting a quick score to open up the third quarter, able to come right back out and get a quick stop on this Miles offense. Abraham Wallace stands him up and gets a little help from Jake Vick to stop the receiver from gaining any more yards. It's going to be fourth down and four for the Miles College Golden Bears as the punter stands at his own, we'll call it 16-yard line. Christian Salisbury deep to return the punt. It is an end-over-end -end kick, short. It hits at the 43 and will bounce out of bounds at the 42-yard line. So no return on the punt, but excellent field position for the Tigers, who will start first and 10 at their own 42-yard line. 10-40 remaining third quarter, West Alabama leading 27-14. to Harry Satterwhite will bring his offense back. And as we mentioned, you know, he's kind of gotten – uh, hadn't gotten in just a great groove, but he's 18 of 22 on the night with three touchdown passes as he sorts out the offensive unit, brings them to the line. He's going to have two wide receivers to the near side, one re wide receiver to the far side, one man in the backfield as he's in the shotgun formation. Satterwhite looking over the defense. Be a handoff up the middle, hit immediately. Tevin Moore may get back to the line of scrimmage and pick up an extra yard, but that is it. A good push up front from the Golden Bear defensive line, and so that will make it second and a long nine for the Tigers. Jalen Thomas leading the way for the Golden Bears on defense as he stands him up just after a one-yard gain as Satterwhite brings him to the line. Trips right, one receiver at the top of the formation. Satterwhite looking to throw, has a receiver in the middle that Window closed in a hurry, and the ball bounces off the turf, I believe, looking for Christian Salisbury, but the pass is incomplete, and that will make it third and long for West Alabama. Yeah, Salisbury, the intended receiver, and Satterwhite just didn't get enough on it. It was underthrown as the ball skips off the turf and brings up third down and a long nine. Third and nine for West Alabama, Miles shifting defenses. Satterwhite looking to throw, has a receiver coming across the middle. Blanchard with the diving reception. He will have it at about the UWA 48-yard line, but that will be short. It will bring up fourth down. West Alabama thought about possibly going for it, but now will send on the field goal, I mean, excuse me, the punt team. Blanch Zach Gaines will try to pin the Golden Bears deep in their own territory. The ball will be marked at the West Alabama 48-yard line. Blanchard hauling in his eighth pass as the snap is back, and the punt's going to be an end-over-end -end kick. It's going to hit out of bounds at about, it looks from here, maybe the 13-yard line as the official is going to step up, and he's going to call it out of bounds at the 15. So the Golden Bears will take it first down and 10 from their own 15-yard line. West Alabama leading here 27-14, 9-15 remaining here in the third quarter as the left-hander, Southpaw quarterback, Daniel Smith, brings his offensive unit onto the field for Miles College. West Alabama, much better job on that opening possession here in the third quarter of being able to stymie this Golden Bears offensive attack that really was able to get out of some difficult situations and convert a lot of third downs in the first half. We'll see if the Tigers are up to the challenge once again. First and 10 at the Golden Bear 15-yard line. Daniel Smith with a running back 
to his right, who he quick pitches to, and he will be dropped at the 14 after a loss of one. Again, that Santee Marshall on the carry, but this time after having success in the first half, he is going to be dropped for a yard loss, second and 11, 8.57 remaining third quarter, 27-14 West Alabama. Abraham Wallace is going to record his third tackle of the night unofficially for the Tigers as it's going to bring up second and long for Miles College. Second and 11, Daniel Smith with a running back behind him in the pistol formation, an H back behind the left tackle. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Daniel Smith changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Here's a snap. Smith looking to throw to his left, looking to throw deep in the pass is incomplete. He was trying to find Antonio Lee on a go route, and Lee had inside positioning on the defensive back, but the pass was just a little bit thrown to the middle of the field, and Lee not able to get it, but Lee was in perfect position to pick up a huge gain on the reception. In coverage for West Alabama's number 21, Danny Rambo, and that seems to be a guy that they continue to go after in that defensive secondary, the senior out of Douglasville, Georgia. But the ball was just not delivered where it was going to be anywhere near catchable, so it's going to bring up third down and 11 from their own 14-yard line. Third and 11, one running back in the backfield, and H back to the right side. Smith flushed out of the pocket to his left at the 10, looking to throw. Has a receiver open across the 30. He brings it in but was juggling it as he went out of bounds. Again, that was Antonio Lee was the intended receiver, but Lee not able to completely possess the ball by the time he went out of bounds. And so it will be another quick three and out, four miles, miles bringing the punt team on. Nice job by the officials right there, seeing that he didn't have the ball secure as he's going out of bounds. And, you know, right there, um, you know, that could have been a first down if he secures that football, but a right call right by the officials going to bring on the punting team as the punter stands with his heels on the goal line. Excuse me on the goal line, and Salisbury at his own 47-yard line. Good rush by the Tigers, but the punt is off. Salisbury calls for a fair catch at the 45. He muffs it. The ball is down on the ground, but Salisbury able to recover it at the Tiger 46-yard line. So even with the mistake and no return, Tigers once again are set up in great field position. It was very fortunate for the Tigers right there because when it hits him initially, he's right about the numbers, and instead of kicking back to the middle of the field, it goes toward the sideline. So West Alabama will take over first down and 10 from their own 46-yard line in good shape uh, right here as they start this drive with 8.03 remaining in the third quarter. First and 10, Tigers, Satter White, empty backfield, three receivers right, two to the left. Satter White awaiting the snap. Satter White looking to throw, looking to his right, getting pressure, now just has to fire it over to the right side. The pass will be caught by Dominic McNeely. He will lose yardage on the play. Back to the West Alabama 45, there is a penalty flag in the backfield, so have to wait and see what this will be, but chances are it's probably against UWA. Natavius Floyd pushes the receiver out of bound, but that's going to be holding against the offense for West Alabama. That penalty will go against LaThomas Sharp, the junior offensive lineman, the transfer from Mississippi Delta Community College. He's being forced into action due to Brandon Anderson's injury. He's playing the right offensive tackle position, and that time got a little bit too much of the jersey of the defensive end from Miles, and so that will back West Alabama up and make it first and 20 with 7.45 remaining third quarter, UWA leading 27 to 14. Again, play blown dead this time. I believe you're going to have a false start on West Alabama. And again, it will be against LaThomas Sharp, the backup offensive tackle who is struggling here in the third quarter in replacement duty for Brandon Anderson, who is out the rest of the game with a foot injury. Yeah, just a little bit antsy right there as he's down in his stance, and then he comes up out of the stance and immediately knows that he's going to be flagged. But it's going to be first down and forever right here for West Alabama. First and 25 UWA. Be a handoff up the middle. The play will get out to the 35. It'll be a short gain of a 
about three yards on the carry there. Derek Underwood, just not much room, and there really hadn't been any room for rushing lanes all night. The offensive line just not able to create those paths that we're so used to seeing. Yeah, it has been a bit of a struggle, and, and it's, it's been of a struggle all over the offensive side of the football for West Alabama as Satterwhite barks out his cadence, looks to the line, looks to the sideline to get the play call. Second and 22, Tigers. Satterwhite looking to throw, looking to his left, has a receiver at the 39. He's able to move and squirm his way to the 40, but it's going to bring up a third and long on the reception there. Tyreek Martin, the freshman from Goose Creek, South Carolina, but not able to get away from the Miles defender, so it's going to make it third and 17 at the West Alabama 40-yard line. Satterwhite shotgun formation, dropping to pass, looking to his left, now back across the middle. The reception is had right there by Quay Boyd, who's going to get across the 40-yard line of Miles, and that will be enough for a West Alabama first down. And again, we see it third down when the chips are down. Satterwhite is looking to Quay Boyd. Quay Boyd with his fourth catch of the night right there, and that was a big one to get a Tiger first down. Satterwhite back to pass, looking to dump it off to Underwood over the middle, but overshoots his intended receiver, and that pass will luckily fall to the turf. A lot of Miles defenders in the area, but that was thrown over Underwood's head and in between a number of Golden Bears. Yeah, I tell you what, it looked like he was kind of throwing off of his back foot a little bit. He didn't have much on it. I think it got away from him there, but it's going to bring up second down and 10 from the Miles 38 as that ball falls incomplete on the turf. Second and 10, two receivers right, one to the left. Quay Boyd in line at tight end on the left-hand side. Setter White's pass is complete to Salisbury at the 22. He breaks free at the 10, the 5. Touchdown, West Alabama. Christian Salisbury, 38-yard reception from Harry Satterwhite. That will push West Alabama's lead to 33-14 with 5.43 remaining third quarter. Christian Salisbury's fourth reception of the night, and what a move he made at about the 18-yard line to just leave the defender just hugging air, basically, as he's able to get past that tackler and makes his way easily into the end zone. West Alabama's special teams unit looking to add on to the point after. As the snap forthcoming, it's good. The hold is good, and the kick is up through the uprights, and it's good. West Alabama extends the lead here at home. 5.43 remaining, and the Tigers right there, Robert, looked really good uh, thanks to the strong right arm of Harry Satterwhite and some great receiving by the Tiger receiving corps. Yeah, with Tyler Rogers seemingly out for this second half, West Alabama, not that they had had much success, even with Rodgers in the game, is really relying on the right arm of Harry Satterwhite, and he was able to make two big connections, one with Quay Boyd on third and long to extend the drive, and then that long touchdown pass to Christian Salisbury, and he has shown tonight what a difference maker he really is for this team, not only the long kickoff return, but now two long touchdown receptions, so a huge night for Salisbury. Salisbury, four catches for 84 yards. As you mentioned, two touchdowns. The long came on the 43, but he's averaging 21 yards per catch. And I, I tell you, it, it's nice to have those receivers. He's, he's spread the football around to seven different receivers tonight uh, with Blanchard getting eight catches and Salisbury and Quay Boyd each with four. Salisbury came in tonight second in the GSC in all-purpose yards and got to imagine unless somebody just has an incredible performance this weekend when we get the stats come Monday, he will be leading the conference. He's, he's had a great game thus far tonight. I know there's a lot of football left, but uh, you know, definitely a weapon that West Alabama is going to enjoy using throughout the course of this season as West Alabama gets ready to kick it off to Miles College here after the touchdown. Jordan Bennett kicks it off with West Alabama leading 34-14. to 14. The kickoff will be fielded at the two. It will be returned up the right sideline, 10-15, and he will be stopped at the 17-yard line. So, again, good coverage from the Tigers special teams. Other than the missed extra point, 
you got to say that special teams has been a huge advantage for West Alabama. Yeah, they've looked really good. And on the return, you know, they had some great blocking to set up a long t uh, return for a touchdown. And, and the coverage has given, you know, the defense a lot of field to defend, you know. So uh, credit the special teams, as you mentioned. Smith is going to bring his Miles College Golden Bears to the line. It'll be first down and 10 in his own 18. Tigers lead 34-14 with 534 remaining here in the third quarter. Sniff with Smith with an H back to his left will hand it off. No, he will keep it and go around right end across the 20. He will be brought down at the 24-yard line. So a pickup of... Well, about five, maybe six on the play. That was a nice play by Smith. Faked the handoff, which we've seen a number of times tonight, and rolled out to his right side, able to pick up six yards, so it'll make it second and four miles from their own 24-yard line, 5.05 remaining third quarter. Smith, again, handoff. This time they'll try the left side. Play will gain two yards. I don't think we've ever seen miles run Two consecutive running plays. That time handed it off to Santee Marshall along the left side, just trying to get any yardage that they can and take a little bit of that pressure off of Smith. In on the stop for West Alabama, number 42, Jordan Jones, as Smith takes a look at the sideline to get the signal. He is going to be in shotgun formation, deploying one wide receiver to the far side, two to the near side. West Alabama showing pressure, then backs off. Smith will hand off once again to Marshall. He's across the 30, up to the 36-yard line. It'll be enough for a Miles first down. So they will have it first and 10 at their own 36, 412 remaining third quarter, 34-14 West Alabama. Tripped up by Savon Parker and then brought down by Chase Mitchell, not before the Golden Bears first down. Another handoff to Marshall on the left side. He gets pressure, has to reverse field to the right. He will end up gaining two yards. West Alabama had him in the backfield for what would have been a two or three yard loss and Marshall able to keep his feet, head back towards the middle of the field and turn that into positive yards. Miles back up on the line of scrimmage, second and seven. Smith looking back to his sideline. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. H back behind the left tackle. West Alabama showing blitz. Miles backing off, and they're not going to get the play off in time. And they will be forced to use a timeout. So that will be Miles' first timeout of the third quarter. We'll take that timeout with them. 3-11 remaining third quarter, West Alabama 34, Miles 14. You're listening to West Alabama football on ESPN 104.9, ESPN 104.9.com. This second half and holding Miles College to nothing on the scoreboard. So West Alabama has increased their lead to 34 to 14, 311 remaining third quarter. Miles will have it second and seven from their own 39 yard line. Miles 58th play for the night, forthcoming as they've collected 327 total yards, 238 on the ground. I mean, excuse me, 238 in the air, 89 on the ground. Daniel Smith, pistol formation will be a fake up the middle. Daniel Smith going deep, has a man breaking open. That pass will be hauled in at the 21-yard line. Leonard Tyree on the reception. Tyree is the one who earlier in the game had the long touchdown reception. Again, Smith and Tyree able to hook up for 
a big play, so it's going to be first and 10 miles at the West Alabama 21-yard line. Tyree's seventh catch of the night. He has two touchdowns already. He's drugged down by Chase Mitchell. He just had him beat there. First down and 10 for Miles College on the UWA 21-yard line. Smith was getting good pressure from the defense and just lobbed that one up in the air for a, a big play. Now the ball, the snap is fumbled, and it will be falling on back at the West Alabama 26-yard line. So Miles is going to end up losing five yards on the poor snap. Santee Marshall was able to cover the fumble. Marshall will check out of the game, and Miles will go to an empty backfield. Three receivers left, two to the right. Smith checking with his offensive lineman. Smith looking to throw, quick throw to the left. That is incomplete, trying to find Malik Campbell. Campbell was open on the quick pass and would have had about six, seven yards, just not able to come up with the reception. I think he heard the footsteps of Abraham Wallace coming in uh, out of that defensive backfield, and the ball falls incomplete. It's going to bring up third down and 15 for Miles College. Third and 15 on the West Alabama 26-yard line, under two minutes left, third quarter. West Alabama leading by 20, 34-14. Smith at the line of scrimmage, empty backfield, three receivers left, two to the right. Looking to throw, dropping, now going to loft one to the left side of the end zone. That pass is batted up and batted out of bounds. Danny Rambo in good position on the coverage, and he's frustrated with himself. A nice play, but wishing that he could have come up with that interception. Once again, Miles College going uh, trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Danny Rambo, but this time the ball's slightly underthrown, and Rambo's able to go up, put his hand on it, knock it out of bounds. And, you know, he had a, a, an extra defender there. If he could have popped that thing straight up, there's an opportunity for uh, an interception. Abraham Wallace also there on coverage. Now Miles will try a 43-yard field goal attempt. This will be Bradley Hamill. The spot is down. The kick is up. It is low. And it is no good. Hamill misses another one to the left. And so with 139 remaining third quarter, West Alabama remains on top 34 to 14. Yeah, it's uh, right off the foot, just almost identical to the last one that he missed, just kind of pushes it to the left. It's kind of a low line drive kick there, just never got that elevation in the way you like to kind of see with that backspin. But uh, fortunate for West Alabama as they – Enjoy a 20-point lead at this point, 34 to 14 here, 139 remaining in the third quarter as Harry Satterwhite and company will start this drive first down and 10 from their own 26-yard line. Good job by the West Alabama defense, able to hold after giving up the long pass play from Daniel Smith to Leonard Tyree. Satterwhite dropping back to pass, will flip it out to the running back on a swing pass to the 25, makes a cut up to the 27, and then will be driven back and thrown to the turf out of bounds, and here come the flags. You're going to be able to add 15 onto this play. Miles had made a very nice play in holding Tevin Moore to a short gain, but then just a little too aggressive, and once they had him out of bounds, they shoved him to the ground, and so that's an easy call for the officials. That's going to be 15 yards and a first down for West Alabama. Rodney Coleman, Jr., in on the stop for Miles College, unofficially his eighth tackle of the night as what would have been a, a, a pretty nice play by the defense ends up going to be going to be a penalty and, and help the West Alabama defense just a bit here as we're going to see if we can make some adjustments, get this window back open and get a little bit of air here as we get ready to start back to play here. 128 remaining in this third quarter and the officials still talking it over. I don't know if they're talking about uh, this play or if they're trying to figure out where they want to go eat after the game, but hey fellas, there's only a couple of options, so let's make the call and get on with it. There are actually two fouls on the defense. There's unsportsmanlike conduct against Miles. And a late hit out of bounds. And so it will be the unsportsmanlike conduct.
that will be marked off. That will be 15 yards. It will be a first down West Alabama when the official stops moving. Nope, he's still moving. He goes across midfield. And so they're going to end up marking both of them off. The late hit out of bounds and the unsportsmanlike conduct. So that will be 30 yards assessed against Miles. When the ball is finally placed on the turf, it will be first and 10 West Alabama from the Miles 41-yard line. That's going to, it looks unofficially like the eighth, maybe ninth penalty of the contest, almost 100 yards in penalties for Miles College. Setter White back to pass, gets pressure up the middle, moves to his right now, flips it out of bounds as he is thrown to the turf. Good play by Satterwhite, avoiding the sack and just being able to dump the ball off out of bounds. So we'll bring up second and 10, 108 remaining third quarter. Number 87, DeAndre Fagan putting pressure on Satterwhite right there. It's going to bring up second down and 10 from the Miles College 41-yard line as Satterwhite brings his offense to the line. Two receivers left, one to the right, running back behind Satterwhite tight end to the left. It'll be a handoff Tevin Moore around left side. Nothing there. He thinks about reversing field, but then plows ahead and is able to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and ten West Alabama's were under a minute left third quarter. Austin Stevens, the linebacker from Munford, Alabama, kind of corralling Moore right there, not allowing a gain as he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. From the Miles College, 41. Third and 10, McNeely and Blanchard split to the left. Quay Boyd and Jonas Spivey to the right. Tevin Moore offset to Satterwhite's right. Satterwhite in shotgun formation brings Blanchard in motion. Now Satterwhite back to pass, looking to throw over the middle. He has Blanchard at the 35. He'll be dropped there. It will be a pickup of six but it will be short of the first down marker. So it's going to bring up a fourth and four for West Alabama as West Alabama sends the field goal unit out, excuse me, the punt team out. But before have a chance for Zach Gaines to try to punt Miles College deep in their own territory, that's the end of the third quarter. West Alabama 34, Miles 14. You're listening to West Alabama Football on ESPN 104.9 and ESPN1049.com. Start of the fourth quarter, Zach Gaines will be back to punt. His heels are at midfield. Miles, not believing West Alabama is going to punt it deep, has no one back to receive the punt. All 11 men are within four yards of the line of scrimmage. Gaines gets the snap, angles it to the right, and the ball will drift into the end zone. It will be a touchback. Miles will start the fourth quarter, first and 10 from their own 20. Miles College led by their quarterback, Daniel Smith, 24 of 41 on the night, 278 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. He's been able to hook up with seven different receivers with Robinson and Tyree collecting 15 of the 24 completed passes. So he's got a couple of favorites there, even though he is moving the football around just a bit. As they're going to start this drive here to start their possession in the fourth quarter first down and 10 from their own 20 yard line two receivers right one at the top of the formation left h back behind the left tackle 
running back directly behind Daniel Smith in the pistol formation. Motion across the formation. It will try to be a handoff, but it is a snap that is on the ground. Daniel Smith picks it up, now trying to elude tacklers off the left side, and he will be shoved out of bounds. It will be a loss on the play four miles as West Alabama has one of their defenders down on the turf at the 14-yard line. He tries to get up but cannot and goes back down. I didn't see what happened uh, with the down Tiger, but Tavarius Hutchinson was able to force the Miles College offensive player out of bounds after a loss of about four and a half, maybe five yards as the athletic training staff tend to the down Tiger. Looks like it's going to be possibly... I believe it's Jordan that Jones, number 42. So Jones is up on his own power, is able to walk off towards the sideline, being escorted by head athletic trainer Brad Montgomery. Hope it's just something where he got the wind knocked out of him, but he will check out for at least this play. Miles will be scrimmaging from their own 16-yard line, second and 14, approaching 14 and a half minutes left in the game. West Alabama 34, Miles 14, Daniel Smith, Pistol formation, two receivers right, one to the left, H back behind the left tackle. Smith fakes the handoff, is going to go deep, has a man wide open at midfield, and it's off his hands. Leonard Tyree, once again, the miles deep threat, had beat the defenders and had the ball right in his hands at midfield and just dropped it. Chase Mitchell was the deep man in coverage, and he was – he was just flat out beat on that play, but a little bit too much put on that pass, and it falls incomplete. It's going to be third down and a long 14 for Miles College with the ball spotted on their own 16-yard line. Daniel Smith brings the Golden Bears to the line of scrimmage, two receivers right, one to the left. H back again is positioned right behind the left tackle, running back to Daniel Smith's right. There's the handoff along the left side to Murphy. He is able to get up across the 20, but that will be it. It'll be a gain of about four and a half, maybe five yards, but not near enough for the first down. So it will bring up a punting situation for Miles. Really tough to see right there uh, who made that tackle far sideline there, but they get the special teams unit on for Miles College. He's going to be standing with his heels on his own six-yard line as Salisbury will be on his own 43. The punt is away. High enough that it causes Salisbury to call for the fair catch. It will be marked down at the West Alabama 45-yard line. And, Will, you see right there kind of a microcosm of this whole second half. The defense has been able to hold Miles in check, keep them playing deep in their own territory, and it seems like every possession West Alabama is either starting at midfield, near midfield, or in Miles' territory, and that makes it a whole lot easier for your offense. Yeah, when your offense has a short field, or, or near midfield uh, starting possession. It, it's just really easy as Harry Satterwhite brings his group to the line. Empty backfield, Miles jumps offside. Satterwhite with the free play goes down the middle. The pass is tipped and incomplete in coverage was Mitchell Smiley, the linebacker, who had dropped back in coverage and was able to get a hand up and knock that pass away. But again, a free play because Miles was offsides and so it'll be first and five for West Alabama from midfield. I tell you what, it's a decently thrown ball, and, and he just wasn't able to get his hands on it, maybe maybe just a bit high, but uh, it's going to be first down and five from the midfield stripe for West Alabama. Here, 13-21 remaining in the contest. First and five, UWA from midfield. Satter White in pistol formation, going to throw, looking to his right, has a man at the 40. Nice sliding reception. That will be enough for the first down. 
Looks like the reception is going to be Markeith Gray, the junior. Back up tight end getting some action. Quay Boyd on the sideline getting some rest. But it will be a first down at the 40 of miles for UWA. Satter White back to pass. Dumps over the middle. Is going to be caught by the running back across the 35 down to the miles 34-yard line. On the reception is Derek Underwood, who came out of the backfield, and Satterwhite doing a good job just checking down to the running back there. Underwood's second catch of the night as the offense seems to be clicking for West Alabama. Satterwhite brings him to the line, deploys three wide receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Handoff, Hands handoff Underwood up the middle. He is able to reach the 21-yard line of Miles, just a simple handoff, and was able to gash Miles right there for another first down. So first and 10, West Alabama from the Miles 21-yard line. Again, handoff Underwood up the middle. Not as much room this time, but he is able to spin and fall forward across the 20 down to the 18-yard line. So it will make it second and seven for West Alabama, 12-20 remaining in the game. UWA up 34-14. Underwood with his fourth, third and fourth carries right there as Tevin Moore checks in. Uh, to be the running back for West Alabama. Moore situated in the pistol behind Satterwhite. Satterwhite's going to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Now he moves up and will get to the 17-yard line before he slides. And that will force a third and long for West Alabama. And, you know, you always want to see West Alabama score a touchdown, but it would be wonderful to see Jordan Bennett be able to come on kick a field goal and get some of that confidence back. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, touchdowns are great, but I think this will be an opportunity, just like you mentioned, to, you know, just have that little bit of feel-good confidence uh, to be able to push one through. you got more in the backfield with Satterwhite, two wide receivers to the near side, splits to the right. Splits to the right. Satterwhite looking to his left. Now back over the middle of the pass will be caught at the 15-yard line by Tyreek Martin. It will not be enough for the first down, so West Alabama will send Jordan Bennett and the field goal unit onto the field to try to extend this lead as we are under 11 minutes remaining in the game. Bennett's going to be kicking hash mark left. Holder is into the game. It's going to be a 32-yarder, 32 32-yard 32 attempt here. Bennett is set. There's the snap. The place is down. Bennett's kick is up, and it is good. A late flag comes in after the play, but the field goal from Jordan Bennett was good. We'll have to check the flag to see. I believe it's going to be post-play, and so if that's the case, it should be marked off on the kickoff, but good to see Jordan Bennett hopefully get some of that confidence back as he extends the lead right now, 37-14, West Alabama, 10-37 remaining in the game. So it will be an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against DeAndre McCurry, the defensive lineman from Miles. That will be enforced on the kickoff, so West Alabama will be kicking off and Jordan Bennett can really put this one through the end zone and prevent any type of return from Miles. It was nice to see that uh, that one go through, not only for the points, but Bennett looked nice and relaxed as he approached the ball. Good, good action off his foot, and he splits the uprights. As so following the penalty, Bennett will tee it up on the right hash mark at midfield and will be kicking off to Miles again. 10.37 remaining in the game. West Alabama leading 37 to 14. The offense has turned it on here in this second half, and the defense has pitched a shutout. A much better showing from the Tigers here in the second half. Great effort in the second half, and I know you don't want to goof around or anything right here, but kicking off from the midfield, I would just have to know. Like, I just want to try to split it through the uprights. Just me personally, I, you, you don't get to do it very often. So, hey, look, I want, I want to see if I can uh, hit the – hit the bell with it and uh, get this last ten and a half minutes of this contest under our belt. So Bennett checks to his right, now to his left. He approaches the ball 
and it will be a line drive kick, and it will be just to the left of the upright, but it will be a touchback. So Miles will start first and 10 from their own 25-yard line, trailing 37-14, to 10-37 remaining in this ball game. Well, Robert, what started out as a, as a good ball game, it's really starting to – West Alabama is starting to come into their own a little bit. I, I feel like that they are getting into a little bit of a rhythm. Satterwhite settled in. You know, he's been able to hit eight different receivers tonight. Not a lot in the rushing game. I mean, as West Alabama – has only totaled 40 yards on the ground, but two, 318 uh, in the air. It's starting to starting to move West Alabama's way. It is, and Miles will take over first and 10. Receiver in motion. Now he goes back to a slot position. Daniel Smith fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, wants to throw. No time to do so. He will be dropped back at the Miles 19-yard line as West Alabama is able to sack Daniel Smith. In on the stop for West Alabama is going to be the linebacker, number 42, Jordan Jones, the junior out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. It's going to bring up second and long for the Miles College Golden Bears. Good to see Jordan Jones back on the field after he was assisted off by the athletic trainers. So Jones checked out. He is okay, and he is back on the field. Daniel Smith brings the Golden Bears up to the line of scrimmage. Quick toss out to the right. Will get across the 20, cut back to the 24. Santee Marshall on the carry. He will get close to the original line of scrimmage. It will make it third and 10 from the Miles 25-yard line. Andreas Lilly leading the defensive push right there to bring the Miles College Golden Bear down to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down and 10 from the Miles 25-yard line. Daniel Smith looking to throw, looking to his right, has a receiver open and leads him just a little too far, trying to hook up with Malik Campbell on this near sideline, and the pass was just overthrown. Campbell had no shot, and so that will force another Miles College punt. A lot of pressure up front right there by number 43, Levi Hammock, the six-foot sophomore out of Houston, Alabama, and it's going to bring up that fourth down as the punt team comes on for the Golden Bears. Chris, Christian Salisbury is back to receive the kick. His heels are on the West Alabama 40-yard line. High snap brought down. The kick is a high one, not long, and it drifts out of bounds. And the official is moving up. He will mark it in play at the West Alabama 45-yard line. So once again, Will, same thing that it's been all second half. West Alabama is able to get the stops on defense and then start in great field position. Yeah, you know, and, and that's that's got to feel good for the West Alabama offense as they get ready to take the field led by Harry Satterwhite. He's looking over his unit. He's got 907 remaining in the contest. Three wide receivers to the far side, one to the near side, one man in the backfield. Satterwhite surveying the defense. Satterwhite looking to throw, trying the near sideline, and it is incomplete, trying to find Jonas Spivey, the, junior, the Jones County Junior College transfer, and that pass from Satterwhite just a little bit too high for Spivey to bring in, so second and 10, West Alabama. Second down and 10 from their own 45. 8.59 remaining here in the contest. Tigers leading 37-14 over the Golden Bears of Miles College. Satterwhite sends two receivers to the right, two to the left, running back behind Satterwhite in the pistol formation. Satterwhite looking to throw to his right. The pass is hauled in, and he will be marked down at the 49-yard line. Again, that's Christian Salisbury with the reception. Spun around and thought maybe he had kept his knees off the turf, but they mark him down at the 49, making it third and four. West Alabama now in Miles territory with 8.35 remaining in the game. Satterwhite, two receivers right, one to the left. Satterwhite dropping back, looking to his right, has a man open on the far sideline. Pass will be hauled in, and it will be enough for a West Alabama first down. 
nice throw right there by Satterwhite as he was able to hook up with his wide receiver, get the first down. Keon Wheeler is going to be credited with the tackle for Miles College, but the chain still moving in favor of West Alabama. First down and 10 from the Miles College 41. Salisbury on the reception. Satterwhite throwing once again, looking deep right sideline. Jump ball, and the pass will fall out of bounds, trying to find Bailey Blanchard on that far sideline. And Satterwhite, excuse me, 37 Seth Knotts was the receiver on the play, but Satterwhite put the ball in a great position. It was a place where only Knotts was going to be able to get it or it was going to go out of bounds. Exactly right. In coverage for Miles, Rodney Coleman Jr. Uh, you know, didn't have any opportunity to pick that one off, but the ball is going to fall incomplete. Second down and 10 from the Miles College 41. Satterwhite pistol formation. Hand off up the middle. Now it is cut to the left. Tevin Moore. Nothing doing on the left side. He will be dropped down. It will be a loss of about half a yard. So it's going to make it third and 11 for West Alabama. What looked like could be a pretty good gainer right there. Markel Shelton, the sophomore out of Bessemer, Alabama, reaches out and gets a handful of jersey and is just able to hold more up just long enough to get some help so that he can be brought down for a loss of one on the play. Third down and 11 for the Tigers on the Miles College 42-yard line. West Alabama looking to keep the drive alive. 7-13, clock running, fourth quarter. Satterwhite looking to throw over the middle, and the receiver goes down. There's a late flag for pass interference. He was trying to find his backup tight end, Markeith Gray, and I give, you know, look, I'm a homer. I want everything to go West Alabama's way, but I think Miles is going to be unfortunate on that one because I really think the defender in gray just got their feet tangled up. That looked like incidental contact on the play, but the flag was thrown, so we'll wait to see if the penalty stands or if they will wipe this penalty off. It looked, I would agree with that, Robert. It just totally looked like that they got tangled up, but they're going to pick that one up and, and wave it off. And I know the... The UWA faithful aren't going to like that, but that's the right call uh, in that situation. That is the right call, and that will. Bring up fourth down for West Alabama. They'll trot Zach Gaines onto the field and try to pin Miles College deep once again. Gaines had a, a pretty Pretty good attempt at the uh, the last punt that he made. It hit it about the two-yard line and just kind of bounded into the end zone. And he's going to make a little adjustment to see if he can pin Miles College here deep late in the fourth quarter. Zanes will punt it on the nose of the football. It is a high punt that will hit at the eight, and it will be downed at the two-yard line. Terrific job, Zach Gaines, on the punt, and a terrific job by the coverage unit able to kill the ball at the two-yard line once again, Miles College backed up deep in their own territory. It looked like Charles Bester, the senior out of Tuscaloosa, getting down there to recover the football. And I tell you, that was a, a very, very nice punt right there by the West Alabama punter. And that's going to bring up first down and 10 for Miles College. Starting the drive at their own two-yard line here with 6.53 remaining. Tigers leading 37-14. Tigers leading, trying to run out the clock and get their second victory of the night. Miles will hand off along the left side. Running back gets to about the line of scrimmage, and that will be it. It also appears that Miles College has put in a backup quarterback. Looks to be number 15, Sidney Wilson, the sophomore from New Orleans. 15, that's right, Robert. Number 15, Sidney Wilson, the six-foot sophomore. So Wilson... We'll bring the Bears to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers right. Running back offset. Wilson's going to keep the ball along the right side. He will get up to the four-yard line. 
Good job by the West Alabama defensive front, especially along the left side, to be able to hold Wilson to a short gain, and that will make it third and eight. Miles College with 5.50 remaining in the game. West Alabama leading 37 to 14. Darius Ellis, the senior out of Northport, Alabama, and company in on the stop for West Alabama after a short gain by Miles College. As Robert said, it's going to be third down and seven for the Golden Bears from their own five-yard line, trailing 37-14 here with five and a half minutes to play. Wilson will fake the handoff, a quick throw out to the right. That will be hauled in by Leonard Tyree. He will get to officially the 11-yard line, but that will be short of the first down marker, and Miles will punt once again to West Alabama. Montel Dent in on the stop for West Alabama. As once again, it looks like West Alabama could have some great field position as Salisbury is going to be standing on the Miles College 47-yard line, and the punter is five yards deep in the end zone. West Alabama will set up for the return. The kick is short. It will bounce at the 35 and take a UWA roll at the 30, 25, 24, and finally will be killed at the Miles College 20. They're going to mark it at the 24-yard line. So West Alabama was already probably going to have great field position, but then the punt just came straight back and started rolling back towards the Miles end zone. And so UWA will be setting up shop first and 10 at the Miles 24-yard line. And we see that West Alabama up 37 to 14 with only 433 remaining in the game. Coach Gilliland is going to give Harry Satterwhite the rest of the night off, and Jacob Murphy, the sophomore quarterback from Dixon, Tennessee, will check into the game for the Tigers. Murphy has two receivers right, two to the left. He's going to throw a swing pass to his running back out of the backfield. He will get down to the 20-yard line, and that pass was complete and a nice little pickup, something to get Murphy's confidence going early in this game. Yeah, just a little little touch pass, and he's able to get the uh, completion under his belt. Short gain of four yards, second down and six for the Tigers. Murphy looking to throw once more, has a receiver looking for Gray in the end zone, and that pass is overthrown. Gray in the defensive back doing a lot of hand fighting back and forth. No penalty on the play, and so it's incomplete and that will bring up third and six. In coverage for Miles, Ruben Sarton, number 38, the transfer from New Orleans, Louisiana, played at Stillman prior to coming to Miles College. He's going to bring up third down and six for West Alabama and Murphy on the Miles College 20-yard line. Murphy with a tight end to the left, one receiver to the left, and two to the right. Murphy dropping back to pass. Throws, has a man open at the 12, hops over one inside or down at the 10-yard line. It will be a first down West Alabama. Nice job right there by Murphy delivering that pass. The tackle is going to be made by number 27, Maxell Wells. I believe Dramoris McMillan had the reception on that last play, so it will be first and 10 as there's a handoff up the middle, will be inside the five. He will be down at the four-yard line. West Alabama hurrying back up to the line of scrimmage. It will be second and goal from the four. Murphy getting the Tigers set. Three receivers left, one to the right. He fakes the handoff, and he drops it. Miles has picked up the Murphy's fumble, and they are going the other way. Crosses the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Miles. Just Murphy could not hang on to the ball. You could see he was going to fake it to his running back and pull it down and try to score himself, and he just dropped the snap, and it was picked up by Miles and returned all the way down the field for a touchdown. That will make it West Alabama 37, Miles 20 with the extra point coming. 254 remaining in the game. Unofficially about a 97-yard 
fumble recovery turn, return for a touchdown as Miles College gets ready to set the stage for the point after attempt. Awaiting the snap. The snap's good. The hold is down. The kick is up. And the kick's going to go through. That's going to give Miles the point after. Tigers lead 37-21 here with 2.54 remaining in the contest. You're listening to West Alabama football on ESPN 104.9 and ESPN1049.com. Who's the... Two fifty-four remaining in the game. West Alabama thirty-seven. Miles College twenty-one. Miles just scored on a fumble recovery return for a touchdown. West Alabama had driven all the way inside the five-yard line of Miles College, and Jacob Murphy trying to fake the handoff and then pull it down and get into the end zone himself. Lost control of the ball. It was picked up by Miles and returned all the way for a touchdown. That's Miles' first touchdown of the second half, and it makes it 37-21, to 21, Tigers 254 remaining in the game. Jalen Thomas returned that fumble 96 yards for Miles College as the defense is set to return for West Alabama. The kickoff will go to the 21-yard line and then it will go out of bounds. And so West Alabama will take over at the 35-yard line. West Alabama leading here in front of the home crowd, 37-21 over the visiting Golden Bears of Miles College. Harry Satterwhite had a nice evening, 30 of 41 for 292 yards, four touchdowns. No interceptions. Jacob Murphy is two of three for 14 yards and no interceptions with a fumble. West Alabama has had 10 different receivers get into the action tonight. Bailey Blanchard, nine catches, 75 yards and a touchdown. Christian Salisbury, six catches, 98 yards, two touchdowns with a long of 43. As the offensive unit trots out onto the field for West Alabama. Murphy back out there for the Tigers. First and 10 UWA from the Tiger 35 yard line. There's a handoff along right end, crosses midfield to the 40, 35, 30, and will finally be tripped up at the Miles College 26-yard line. So finally, West Alabama finding some room on the ground. A little bit of confusion here is, uh, you know, we're kind of watching the live stats, and there is a 86 is rushing the football, and they don't have a name in the, in the live stats for who number 86 is. So we're kind of at a loss on, on who that gentleman is. Another handoff along left side. This time he will be tackled at the 25-yard line. So he makes it back just to the original line of scrimmage, bring up second and 10 for West Alabama, leading 37-21 with 2-18 and counting left in the game. 86 is, num is Damon Anderson. He is the running back. West Alabama forced to go deep into their depth chart for the running back position. Tyler Rogers was injured on the last play of the first half, and so not wanting to risk injury to Underwood or more late in this game, they have inserted Damon Anderson. The fake is to Anderson. Murphy will throw it to the 20. The receiver is able to get inside the 15 and find a way down to the 14. That will be a first down for West Alabama. And on the stop for Miles College, number two, Kendrell Walker coming into that defensive back position to make the stop. The reception there was by Sid Thurman.
good to see Thurman get in on the action, pick up a big first down for West Alabama. Now there is 122 and counting in the game. West Alabama not really forced to run another play. They can kneel it from here on out and get out of this game with the victory. They will hand off to Damon Anderson across the 15. He slides and falls down at the 14. So it'll be a pickup of about six inches. That will force a third and long as Tevin Moore and Bailey Blanchard check back into the game. And they will line up in victory formation. And so this will do it for West Alabama. Ten seconds, nine left on the play clock, 34 on the game clock. UWA will let the clock, the play clock run out, take a five-yard delay a game penalty. Really had a situation there <laughs> that's pretty funny. They had to insert a lot of the starters back in because they're the only ones who are used to that victory formation where the quarterback <laughs> kneels on it. And with all the substitutions, they weren't able to get the play off in time. And so 26.1 seconds. All UWA will have to do is snap it one time, and that should be it for the game. Murphy is in at quarterback, replacing Harry Satterwhite, who had another terrific night for the senior QB from Mobile, Alabama, who prepped at McGill Tulin. UWA victory formation, two running backs right behind Murphy. Bailey Blanchard, 10 yards deep in a safety position. Murphy will kneel on it. 21 seconds and counting. The play clock still at 40, not been set in motion. That will do it. The coaches will move towards midfield as West Alabama will win this 37 to 21 over Miles College. UWA will improve to 2-0 on the season. Miles will drop to 0-2. Well, Robert, it was one of those deals where, you know, it, it seemed like it, it took a while for things to kind of get going for West Alabama, but when they started to click in the second half, uh, you know, it went all of West Alabama's way. Unofficially, total yards for West Alabama, 401. Miles College, 373. Passing, 317 for West Alabama. And passing yards for Miles College, 284. So, I mean, it really, it, it was a tale of two halves. The first half, Miles gave West Alabama everything they wanted and more. And then in the second half, West Alabama was able to get a couple of great stops right off the bat, set their offense up in good field position. Harry Satterwhite started to get things going, get into a groove. West Alabama able to score several touchdowns there in the third quarter and really put this game out of reach. A much better effort in the second half, both offensively and defensively. The, the one concern you, you've got to have, or two concerns you've got to have as a West Alabama fan Number one, the injuries. We'll have to see the severity of the injuries to Brandon Anderson, and you'll have to see any type of lingering effects that Tyler Rogers has as he did not play the second half tonight. But the other is West Alabama through two games really has not been able to find a consistent running attack. And as you head into the meat of the schedule, as we play Valdosta State next week, you cannot be one-dimensional. You're going to have to find some type of running game to keep the good defenses honest. Yeah, I mean, tonight, West Alabama, 21 rushing attempts for only 84 yards. Uh, and of those 84, 40 came on one play. Um, you know, so you take out that big play, they just, you know, they averaged four yards per carry. And, and, and it's it, you're right, it's going to be tough. And, you know, I want to say this before it slips my mind, and surely it wouldn't, but holy cow, Christian Salisbury had an outstanding night tonight. He, uh, let's see here, unofficially six catches for 98 yards, two touchdowns, averaging 16.3, um, and, and, and a return. I mean, he was electric tonight, one of those guys that was just able to go, you know, um, 
you know, go-to for the offense to kind of get a spark. And, you know, something else that help, helped, uh, Miles College had 11 penalties for 114 yards. Yeah, Miles helped West Alabama out several times. And you, you mentioned Christian Salisbury. Great to see Harry Satterwhite start to get more comfortable with some of these new faces in the receiving core. You see the difference. Last week, Salisbury only had three receptions for 25 yards. He really targeted Quay Boyd last week, seemingly almost exclusively. I know it wasn't the case, but it seemed like he was the only one that uh, that Satterwhite felt comfortable going to. And so this week, Satterwhite was able to spread the ball out much more, and it wasn't just on first down throws. He looked to other receivers on third down and in clutch situations, and that's how you can tell that Satterwhite is getting much more comfortable with these new faces in the receiving core. Eleven different receivers caught passes tonight uh, for West Alabama. Blanchard with nine catches, 75 yards, and a touchdown. Salisbury, as we mentioned, six catches, 98 yards, and two scores. Quay Boyd, four catches, 60 yards, and a touchdown. Um, Tyreek Martin and Tevin Moore, each with three catches. Underwood and McNeely, each with ca- three, uh, two catches, excuse me. And then Thurman, Gray, McMillian, and Anderson, all with one catch. So, I mean, when you can get 11 different guys to football, um, there's going to be some good things to happen. It was, you know, we talked to Coach Gilliland earlier today, and he said the one thing he wanted at the end of this game, other than the win, obviously, was a much cleaner game. And I think we saw that. Still had some breakdowns in the secondary, still had some miscues, but a much cleaner game than we faced last week against Lenore Ryan. So that's something positive that they can build on because it doesn't get any easier. Starting next week, you head into Gulf South Conference action, and we got Valdosta State coming in, a team that always is loaded with talent. Yeah, Valdosta State, I mean, this entire league, it's it's riddled with talent. It's fun to watch. And, you know, I think one of the things that, that we can see tonight, too, um, the weather got everything kind of disrupted. I think it took almost the entire first half to get everything figured out on, hey, how how do we need to be, you know, taking care of our assignments on defense? How is our offense kind of get into that groove? But they made the adjustments they needed to make at halftime and came out, and you said it, a tale of two halves. The second half, a totally different team and a a team for West Alabama who, you know, for all purposes, just shut down miles in the second half. West Alabama able to get it going offensively in the second half and able to shut down the Golden Bears in the third and fourth quarters. So tonight, West Alabama wins 37-21 over Miles.